Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hello. Hello. Hello, everyone. Good morning. Welcome back to the Eelscast live streams. Uh, it, it's me, Lewis. That's weird. Um, that's not on the schedule. Don't worry. Don't worry. Um, it's we we're t this morning. It's the it's getting into the later stage of the Jingle Jam where um, all of our effort and energy went into organising big events, and we just forget about these morning streams. Um, so yeah, if you were come if you tuned in for Ped, you got to wait a couple of hours because he's seven line. And um, I texted him this morning, and he was like, "I'm not coming in." He didn't he didn't quite say that, but <laughs> he said. <laughs> He said, I messaged Barry yesterday and he said, you and Ben are doing it. See, the thing is, like, I said, me and Ben said we couldn't do it. So Barry was organizing it with Ped and friends. <laughs> <'Cause> Ped, <laughs> but, so anyway, we I'm here. So And Spiff has joined me randomly. Um, well, it's because you put me down on the schedule. Of one of the free schedules that are floating out there, I'm on one of them. And that's the only schedule I have. So I thought I was meant to be here today. Spiff again. <laughs> I know. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> um, so, yeah, welcome, everyone. Uh, we're, we're currently going to be messing around in Rise of Industry this morning, which is a game I've played a bunch of, and I'm a big fan. It's in the bundle. Um, Spiff, have you played it? I've played a very large amount of this. I've, I'm have i good really? friends with the developer. Um, when this game first came out, I was continuously nattering off to the developer about my ideas and how he should improve his game and make it just for me. Um, and luckily he didn't follow any of my advice, um, which is a shame though, because I did ask for multiplayer to be added, and he said maybe, and it never happened. And yeah. So it's too late. Maybe usually means no. It's, that's developer speak yeah. for no, isn't it? You know? It was like, oh, I'll think about it. And I was like, nah, no, it's never happening. You had an epic day yesterday. Um, yesterday was truly incredible. Um, I, the worst thing was I didn't even give myself a break beyond a five minute break I had on the Rust stream because every time we had a break on the Minecraft stream I had to just do server work <laughs> with my mod team. Uh, but it's good to be back. I had a nice long rest last night. Um, Mango and I watched a rom-com, a lovely Christmassy one, and it was really enjoyable. And this is my final stream with the Jingle Jam, so after this I'm free. I can do whatever I like. That's true. Well, let's not let's not let's not say that, Spiff. You, we might have to bring you back in next week for something. I don't oh, know. No. We've got some post Jingle Jam mayhem. We haven't planned I mean, I've anything seen, yet. I've but. seen some of those vague plans, and they look fun. I'm, I'm up for some post Jingle Jam mayhem. Good. Well, I'll send some emails out once I'm done today as well, and um, see what to do. See what see what we can do. We've got to come up with some fun ideas and. Um, Play some fun games, I think. It's all, the, 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 the shackles are off and we can just do whatever we want, um, you know. But this, we have to be very responsible and uh, mature because there's a charity drive going on. We have to respect Twitch chat and also show off the games and promote the bundle. But actually, this year, it's been so easy to play the games. Oh my God. Like every I've, game in the bundle. I've never great. heard of Tooth and Tail, and then you guys played it, and I was like, okay, I want that immediately. Like, my bundle keys hadn't arrived by that point, so I was so close to just buying the game outright to play it. <laughs> but luckily, they kicked in, and it was really good fun. I played the campaign, it's very enjoyable. It's good. I, we yeah, we might well play that again on Travels because it's, it's, a good, it's a good drop in, drop out little strategy RTS thing. Yeah, works great, doesn't it? Very yeah. pog, um, indeed. Very PG. We're PG and we're pog today. Not talking about dicks and butts and no no cocks for Christmas. We're going to be manufacturing paint and shipping it. <laughs> and huffing it. Oh, oh okay. no, shipping right. it. Um, what do you suggest, Sips? Uh, Sips, fucking Sips. Sips, yeah. It's what okay. do you suggest, yeah. Biff? Because um, what, what we... What are we doing? I was thinking of making so, Sipsco, that's why I'm in my head. I was thinking... Oh, I've, I've made Spiffco already, but yeah, we could do Sips versus Spiffco. Sipsco Industries. We make dirt. Now, there are a few things we could do. Like, we could do the career mode, which is good fun, because that, that's kind of like you start from the bare scratch, you have to research stuff. It's very... Um, it's, it's the vanilla experience, and it's good fun. That's I definitely recommend that. true, but I want to be able to set up a decent production line do you know what i mean i want to be well, able to you like, are able to do that yeah 
Well, I think that just, I don't it wanna, has to come slowly. Yeah, I don't want to get. I want to go straight to the top. I want to. I want to. I want to. Oh, I mean, you can I do get that the if, you're, tech. if your line is efficient. Want to manufacture the car? A car. You well, can. I mean, you can. You can manufacture a car, but you have to. You have to make money, spend that money on research, and then you can learn how to make a car correctly. It requires a whole bunch of like logistics planning. This game is literally like modern day Factorio. You're not dealing with sciencey stuff or bug monsters. You're just creating super hyper efficient production lines. Yes, that's exactly what you're doing. You're min maxing production lines, and it's it's a dream uh, of mine to do this. Uh, do you want to? What do you want to do then? We could do a scenario. You know, there are like you could set up like custom objectives. I, I don't think we have any loaded. I don't oh, you have to make your own. Oh, oh wait, no, there are some. Too. There are some, actually. There's two if you press load. Oh, yeah, farmland and water world. Oh, my goodness. Water world is a permanent, two permanent events of flood and beach month. <laughs> anyway, we can show this, um, Sid. I'm just looking on the, in, the, in the Rise of Industry menu. Um, this one's quite interesting, actually, water world, because the mission is to create a computer within 20 years. That's actually probably really hard. Yeah, that sounds actually very difficult, especially considering that there is massive flood everywhere. But plenty of water. So think about that. Yeah, but water and electronics generally don't mix very well. Or they mix. There's a lot of uh, electricity there. You know, that's what you want, isn't it? A little oh. bit of a little bit of spark. Yes, you don't. You don't need actual cablings to route your electricity. Just plug a live wire into the water. That's right. If you electrify the, the whole the ocean, ocean, it's very efficient. It is, <laughs> and then you get free electricity in the form of lightning. That's how you get infinite electricity. Let's just see who could get the highest tech researched in the career mode. Um, okay, I'm gonna go UK. From same from the. the Oh, and there's also, by the way, have you seen, there's, um, there's a DLC which I haven't got, uh, or at least an expansion which I haven't got. When did this yeah, come it's out? it's futuristic. Um, came out not too long ago, I don't think. It's, it's, it makes it all futuristic-y, but we're not going to worry about oh, that. Oh my god, it came out came out last October. Yeah, sorry, oh I don't know god, if that's in the bundle, it might year. be. Um, don't think so, though. Anyway, uh, career mode. AO players, I don't think we need any AO players, we're playing against each other, right? So you can turn those off. Okay. Okay. And we'll just have a medium map. People drive on the left because it's the UK. Of course, yeah. And it easily has to happen. We don't need an assistant. Okay. Uh, just leave all the trade settings as they are if you want. And difficulty settings yep. as they are, sure. Let's do this. Perfect. Right, let's go. All right, who can. So the question is. What is it? Who can... I think chat should vote for who has the best. We could have different different qualifiers, right? One is... Um, most efficient. Most efficient. Course. Voted by chat. Two is best looking, voted by chat. And three is um, highest tech tree. How, how high you made it down one of the tech tree lines. Okay? All right. That sounds perfect. Uh, oh my goodness, go. my map is great. Okay, right, right. I'm ready. So what have I got? Um, go. <laughs> so we've got the nice town of Bridgewater. I, I pick UK names, but Bridgewater doesn't... Well, Bridgewater is... I've got Guildford, and it, and I've also got um, Hollyhead. Like, Hollyhead's a very common name. I've got Cambridge. UK. Got a Maidstone. Oh my God. And a Southport. And a, and a Kidderminster. Maybe Bridge, Bridgewater is a real place. And Farringdon. Have you ever been to Farringdon? Ugh. I have not, no. <laughs> Look at Bridgewater. It's got one road out of it. <laughs> There's only one way in or out of people are ever coming in and out. For it's, like, it's like that town in Groundhog Day where the main road to Groundhog to town gets blocked and so he's trapped there, you know? Yeah. Oh, what Groundhog Day is a very fun film. It's a it's great movie. Enjoyable. I recommend you watch it if you haven't. Um, yeah. Right, so Bridgewater, they have a farmer's market, they have a hardware store, and they have a grocery store. I can sell them any of these products, right? So I can make, I can catch fish, I can grow apples, I can 
grow olives. I can d dig oil. You do need to be careful, though, because um, it is you are at risk if you put your industry too close to a city that as the city expands, people start moving close to your factories and then they're going to be upset that your factories are there. So you want to build it in the open? Yes, you okay. can do. Uh, chat, let me just bring up the, the... Let's have a quick... Where's the, where's the tech tree? Tech tree. Chat, you're going to decide what I'm going to go for, okay? I want, I want, to, I want to know whether you want me to make... Um, aim for the, the cars... The computers or the di the Christmas dinners, the chicken dinners, <laughs> the chicken dinners. Oh, um, God. Do you want me to make a pie factory, a computer factory, or a car factory? Please choose. Um, it seems like it seems like most people are going for the food. Um, they do love food. It is eleven twenty in the morning. It's probably about time for elevens. Is all right. So okay, if I'm going to make a chicken dinner. That is going to involve making cooked vegetables ugh, and fried chicken, <laughs> okay? Well, <laughs> or pie, I berry pie. I think maybe I, I should do. Miss clicked, and I'm now making biofuel as my uh, late game technology. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Okay, so Spiff's doing biofuel. I guess that f is the food for cars, right? It's food, yeah, it's I have food to... for industry. Whereas I'm making food for people. I literally have to grow potatoes to make biofuel. Oh my god, you're feeding this—it's like you're feeding the cyborgs in the future. I am. Um, we can see Spiff's screen, um, by the way, and he's—he is going to get completely out of control, and we're just going to watch him play the game. Whereas I'm going to slowly try and build a pie. But at the end of the day, chat, you get to decide who you think is 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 the best. Um, a prototype. I like how the pre-made. Berry pie is a prototype pie. And the proto pie. The dough. So dough. I need to make dough at the food factory, and um, it's expensive. It's very expensive. I can only get three unlocks in the first and second row, so I need to even unlock some things first. So I guess I need water. Um, yeah, water. Water gathering is exceedingly important, but I think you do get it by default. Okay. Um, and because then I need basically everything needs water somewhere dough. in the supply chain. Right, so dough is made from flour. So let's get the, my free unlocks done there. So let's start by making some wheat fields and some flour factories. I'm going to do it here, nice in the fertile crescent in the middle of middle of, of um, Kent. The Garden of England is going to be converted right, yes, to Kent. the Garden of 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 wonder right we need water so let's use this water supply here i always use um oh i haven't where's my do i need a build permit oh i guess i only have build permit for this zone currently all right well in that case we'll just build in this zone uh does it cost money to chop trees down? I don't think so. I don't think so. It doesn't cost much money to build stuff. The The real cost comes in the form of, like, the supply and demand chains. That's where things get a bit insane. All right. Um, road. Let's build... Oh, there's railways. There's railways. There's railways. <laughs> we're going to build a dirt road over to here. Oof. And we're going to build a water gatherer on the coast of this tiny little water area. All right, I've already started Operation Remove All Trees. Um, there will be no trees left. And then we're gonna add, oh, let's not do this. Let's just, let's just, can I move, can I move something to a different place? What, what, once you've placed it down? Yeah. No, that's your mistake. You've got to destroy that. Destroy oh, that no. building. Can I and lower you've just ground? To, thousands. Oh, can I lower ground to make more water? There is terraforming, yes, but I don't think you can use it to make more water. Um, or maybe you can. I mean, if you can, that's exceedingly useful because, oh my goodness, you can. But it is going to cost you two hundred thousand grand. I just saw there. <laughs> oh um, shit! Yeah. Okay. It's probably cheaper just to knock this down and rebuild it somewhere where there's more water. All right, I've already started off badly. Um, All right. 
I'm going to be Wait, trying well, to maybe see... I'll, maybe I'll be all right. Maybe I'll be all right. How many uh, harvesters can I get around this thing? I could probably get one there. I have to get I have to get them in. I have to squeeze them all in. Get one in there. Get one in there. Okay, that's all I need. And then I rode these back bad boys up. This actually looks quite pretty already, what I'm doing here. I'm actually quite pleased with this. I mean, mine's going to look horrible by the time I'm finished because when the pollution sets in, everything's just going to be filled with smog and it's going to be disgusting. Okay, so water here. I haven't actually unpaused it yet, so let's unpause it. Um, so this, these guys are going to start harvesting water. Little trucks are going to come out and they're going to take the water to the water siphon. And my graphics are probably not as good as they could be. Let me just double check I've got the graphics up because... Oh yeah, I'm in the wrong, in the wrong resolution to start with, and did that change anything? I think I might have just made it look worse. <coughs> oh, it's not close to the road as well. God, yeah. Look, see, so you have to watch out for these. Thank you, chat. Thank you. Okay, so we've got water siphon, and we're going to build a little crop farm as well. Right next to the water, because that's efficient, isn't it, Spiff? I always like uh, it is a little driveway efficient. on my things as well, well for the trucks to turn. A driveway in. is useful, but if you're starting to use like great big long dirt tracks, then things are going to get really slow, because dirt tracks are very slow. Oh, I can game. upgrade the road later, though, right? So like a, an urban road. But I like the idea that well, this is just a crappy kind of shit farm. I mean, it is a bit of a crappy kind of shit farm. You're right. A it is. Shit farm. Uh, so then we just then we just put our wheat fields in the back here. Bam, bam. How many can we get on each field? Is it three? I do believe it is three, but with later technologies, you can have I think five. Wow. Which is where efficiency starts taking off. So I should leave some space out the back for additional fields. You should indeed. Now, the more goods that you supply to a town, the more satisfied that time, town will be and grow. So even though you might be producing tier three items, a town will be very happy if you just give them lots of tier one items. You just won't be making as much money. Okay. So this crop farm needs one worth of water per field per rotation. Okay, and it takes 30 days production. The water siphon takes 15 days to generate. So, logically, you can create two farms per for one water siphon. Okay? Is that right, Spiff? Uh, yes. Yes, you can. That is because correct. the water generates 3 and 15, whereas this uses 3 and... 30. So we use 6 in 30, which is 3 in 15. Okay, good. Chat, I hope you're paying attention. There will be a test. Uh, At the end of this, yeah. And you do need to get it correct. Yeah. And uh, yeah, if, you're, if, you don't, if you don't get it correct, you'll be banned. From the twitch.tv forward slash Yogscast. So, you know, remember that. Uh, so yeah, it can hold water in the storage. But, um, it, like these little water siphons, they hardly have any storage. If you want to be storing stuff, you need to use giant like warehouses, and even they aren't like the most efficient when it comes to storage. So Bridgewater, remember, they want specific objects. So they will take the wheat that I'm growing, but they won't take flour which is my byproduct that I was going to make next. So I was going to now make a food factory and turn this into flour. But, oh, sorry, turn it to dough, which I can then make into the prototype futuristic berry pie. <laughs> I love how it's a, a prototype as in like, it heck? is the prototype pie. It's future technology. You have to remember that this is very mo uh, like early on in human era. If you look at our trucks, they're not fancy. Boigers, I can make all sorts of stuff. All right, so let's we'll think about what these guys actually want. What would what would what would they what would they like, and what's good value? They'll have chocolate bars, 
they'll have um, the farmer's market you can buy stuff from. So if I didn't want to make cocoa myself, I could buy it from there. Um, but I feel like if they're requesting it, that's not a good place to buy it from. You can also buy from off-map as well. Um, you can, yeah. I.e. these off-map connections that are, that are like... Um, here, there's one here. So if you wanted to buy, like, you could just order in, basically. <laughs> just if you can't be asked to do it yourself, you can order in. But I, I'm not a fan of that. I like doing everything on one, on myself. I like doing it all myself. Yeah, well, the issue is if you go for the off-map connections, you are going to struggle when it comes to, like, actually having a, a, an efficient supply chain. Because if you're moving goods across the entire map, that's going to cost you a huge amount of time. And time is money and efficiency in this game. Time is money, friend, as the goblins always say. Yeah. Um, so let's make a food factory, because that's the next one up, up, the, up the chain. And I guess we'll just pop that on... Oh, now, of course, what we're, what we're starting to see here is that if this road is starting to get filled up with stuff, it's, we're going to need to upgrade it. But not only that, but possibly consider some sort of effic efficient one-way road. Do you know what I mean? Because... There's not going to be much efficiency for quite a while, I'm afraid. Yeah, and I can't even research these. In fact, oh, I don't even have the Irwin Rose unlocked. All right, we're not going to worry about efficiency yet. We're just, just, just worry about traffic when we hit it. Um, we're going to put the food factory. So you're going for happy, cute farms, right, Lewis? Because I've gone for cutting trees, growing potatoes, and harvesting gas from the earth. Yes, if you've um, gone for more heavy industry, that's very understandable. Um, food factory. So we want to deliver our wheat to... Uh, we, we should name our food factory as well. Let's call it... Oh, everything needs a name. It's very important for everything to have a name. I'll name it after someone, perhaps, who was donated to the Jingle Jam Spiff. How, how does that sound? Does that sound that wild? That brilliant. I'm going to rename my potato farm. Um, it's the no name provided. <laughs> uh, dough Factory. No. I've created the RT Gamerland potato farm. No name dough. There you go. Job done. Thank you very much. Just had a donio from Mr. Mr. Duck. Oh, wow, thank that's you. a great name for a water siphon. It is the Mr. <laughs> Duck. A perfect name for a Mr. Water Duck siphon. water. Perfectly. Uh, thank you for that. Um, and this will be crop farm one. This isn't going to be crop farm. This could be Bjorn's Bjorn's farm. Um, Bjorn's farm. Bjorn's wheat. Big wheat. Bjorn's Bjorn's. Huge wheat. Bjorn's big wheat. Huge wheat. Thank you very For much, huge Bjorn. Boy. And also, H. Spranklin. Spranklin's wheat. Oh. Right, dumb, town dumb. Is growing. See, look at that. I'm, so now what I can do is I've, like, I've got some. This is the wheat. This Bjorn's big wheat has collected some wheat. Six wheat, in fact. And I'm going to ship it to No Name Doe. Right? And then little trucks going to come out with all my wheat on it, and they're going to ship it up to the dough factory, and then dough factory's just going to make... It's not even making dough, it's making flour. No name flour. Okay, cool. Do I need to sell some products, Biff? You do. So um, you need to get selling products because products will help the town grow. So even though a lot of my products aren't making that much money right now, I'm needing to um, get them out into the wider world. I'm just thinking I need to figure out something to create that this town actually wants. Sipsco Industries. Well, they'll probably, if you click on the town, you'll oh. see what shops they have, and those shops will tell you what resources you can then sell to them. They want me to deliver flour to Southport. Let's take it. I'm going to bid on this. So that's convenient. Because oh, have you just been given a, a once in a lifetime opportunity? I have. A man has contacted Sipsco. He's rung me up. He says, I heard you built the no name flour mill. Lewis, you oh. know what else is great news? We've also just crossed 1.850000. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. I thought people were 
were pogging about my. Yeah, people my were going insane about contract. the great news of your flower contract. <laughs> Oh Can shit! We get some poggers in chat for Lucy's flower contract. That's amazing. That's a huge number. I didn't think we'd go this high this year. That's fantastic. That's really great, guys. Thank you so much. Um, pogs, pogs in chat, and wow. frogs, nice. frog, froggers, coggers, all of them. Um, wow! Look, people are donating. Loads of people. And an, an independent young, no name provided has said. Uh, I know that this year in particular has been a difficult one for so many. I have suffered my own mental health and consider myself one of the lucky ones to pull through. But I am donating towards the Mental Health Foundation to help improve other people who may need it. There you go. See, that's great. Thank you for that. Thank you for that, lovely Donio. Thank you for helping charity. Trev just donated 1.85 1. 1. million. He didn't. He said eight. He just donated and said 1.85 million. Thank you, Trev, for, <laughs> for funding the entire Jingle Jam so far. Um, no, he donated 130 pounds, which is a lot of money. Thank you, Trev. Um, holy crap! Uh, very, very nice. I'll get you. I'll, I'll get a little, get a little um, town for you. So yes. So sorry. So they wanted. They wanted. I've got a contract for Southport Town Centre. So let's deliver the flower there. I got a contract for refined oil. Um, oh my goodness. Now let's see about this. So, flower needs. Okay, so it takes 30 days production. It uses two wheat and makes two flour. And so, in fact, I'm making. I'm making six wheat every 30 days. And this is only using two wheat every 30 days so i need i have noticed that the pollution mix. is starting to spread quite aggressively in my territory Lewis. wow um there is already smog <laughs> surrounding the gas pump but it is not looking good but it's okay because we here at uh, spiffco just received a 3.1 million contract to deliver oil to hollyhead so things are looking up that is fantastic i also need to ship um, water to Spranklin's wheat. Okay, sorry. So I'm oh, shipping yeah, Spranklin's. Shipping. I forgot to ship water to Spranklin's. I've shipped it all to Bjorn's big wheat, and none of it is at Spranklin's. Spranklin's is going oh, dry. I love, I love Spranklin's though. It's great. Um, so yes, Mr. Duck Water. We'll get some water delivered soon. We'll send that over to Spranklin's, and then we'll send the additional wheat that we've collected, or we will be collecting to the new flour mills which will be named accordingly trev trev's flour uh, thank you very much trev <laughs> and and gotler's gotler as well has donated 69 uh trev's flour gotler's flour they've got little they little managers i imagine you guys from chat are helping me to manage these flour mills and before long the uh Things will be shipping out, driving out, filling up, growing wheat, shipping, shipping and receiving where it's needed. Let's get all these out there. Trevs and all right, okay. So two. I think this. I think I've done the measurements right. Because these make these make two. They, they're making six wheat each. Are well, they making three each? No, you really do want to do your contract, though, Lewis. Don't forget to do that. Um, yes, well, I've yeah. set it off. Okay, you're sending off the resources. Good. Um, and there's a truck on the way, or two trucks Good. on the way, to deliver How much do you have to set. deliver? I don't have that much yet. Um, okay. I've got 414 days left to deliver them. But I've got, I think, four? Or no, two. Two flour is being delivered. Two truckloads of flour. My goodness, two entire truckloads of flour. Maybe I need even I more of these. I have to deliver 46 barrels of oil. You have to do 46 oil. Is it tons? I like the idea that it's tons. I think it could be tons of oil, yep. It, there is, it does seem like there's a lot of it, I've got to be honest. Sprinkling's wheat, excellent. All right, well, we'll set this all up for future reference. And... Should happen, yeah. Look, see, there you go. Look, there is, water has been delivered. 
These these will be efficient, I think. I'm I'm pretty confident. This makes this should be making Yeah, last month's production was six. Lifetime last month's production was six. So yeah, this should be making six per month. And it's using one per field, two per field. This is all fine. I think I might need even more of these food factories though. You do need to two. satisfy the needs of the town. You really do. Um, because failure to do so won't make the town happy. Bridgewater. It's stagnating, yeah. Spiff. It's stagnating. Oh, Guildford is growing at the moment. So, What should I start with? Maybe I should make some chocolate bars or something as a stopgap. Because they want chocolate bars. Do you know what I mean? They really do. They also chocolate want... Chocolate is brilliant. Everyone loves chocolate. They want apples fish, oil, leather. Okay, I should I should do something for them. Let's just have a look in the tech tree and see if anything nearby makes sense. See, God, do I need, I need cocoa to oil. make the berry cakes? I, I need berries to make the berry pie. God, this is devastating, Luz. I need so much more oil than I actually have access to. Do they want berries? Oh, no. Does anyone want berries? No, they don't even want berry pie. How am I going to sell these berry pies if well, they don't want them? The, so most towns won't accept many tier free goods right out the gate. So you're going to have to kind of grow the town with the tier one goods necessary in the supply chain for the tier three good. Right. And then cross your fingers that a lovely shop will open up that will love those chocolate cakes of yours. Okay. Like some kind of mega supermarket. Why am I making all this flour? <laughs> Why am I making all this flour? They don't want chocolate cakes or any of this stuff. Okay, maybe though, if I give them some cocoa, they m might want something else. Or can I just ship it to another town? It is, the other towns are far away. These guys wouldn't mind some berries. They, they like berries. Are they gonna open new stores? Well, they want I mean, chicken. They, there's a chance they'll open up new stores. That's the um. That's yeah, what you want. You want them to go happen. from Hamlet to. You want them town. to like, yeah, because the larger the place, oh, the I more see. stores wanna, they're going to have. So I want to focus on my non my t my my main town and make sure it doesn't stagnate. Yeah. So you, that's why you can't just rush into a tier three good. You got to kind of like build yourself up there. Okay, Spiff, I've I've made a mistake. Um, it's okay. Don't worry. But don't I can, worry. think I can fix it because they do want. Cocoa. And I reckon I can make that. I've discovered a very big problem, which is that the trucks can only move one unit of oil at a time. And I have to deliver 46 mega units of oil half the way across the map to Hollyhead. And they are not going to make it on time. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh, well, the contract has failed, but I will still get some money from doing part of it. Really? Your contract failed that quick? Well, I've got 300 days left on it, and there is no way I'm going to be able to finish it. How long have I got Unless I left? buy up the entire map soil supply. I just took another contract on for more flour. For more? Are you mad? I don't know. I Good assumed it God. would happen. But then again, it, it takes 30 days to make four flour, right? No, it takes 30 days to make two flour. And so, in fact, I need to satisfy these contracts. I need... To 12 times 224. I should be okay, actually, if they keep chonking away all. If I keep pounding away on it. Yeah, I think this will be fine. I might have to build some more flour mills later, but I'll let these ones get a bit of storage. Oh, yeah, look at that. They're already filling up with wheat. Okay, well, we'll worry about that in a future episode. Um, in, in a future episode of this let's quickly research some cocoa beans and send cocoa to the town because i feel like if we're not sending any stuff to the town that's 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 madness that's where madness lies um well, i delivered my first two units of oil and it has made me some money but you know it's going to take a lot it's going to take a big amount of oil okay let's put some Little water harvesters down here. These are quite cute. There you go. 
That's quite nice. Pop those in. I could always add more to it later. Um, and we'll send this lovely... We'll terraform this because, you know, want a nice bit of flat land here. Just knock down this. Oh my god, it's so expensive to terraform. <laughs> Fuck it, we're going over it. <laughs> it's so expensive to terraform stuff, Spiff. It is. You really shouldn't terraform unless you absolutely have to. Um, so good luck, my friend. Good luck. Um, let's do this. I have a nice windy path. And then we'll set up our cocoa bean farm. Man, this is the chillest time ever. I'm, I'm, I'm having a lovely chill time. I don't know about you, chat, but this is, this is what I was hoping for on a Sunday morning. Just to, just to super chill out and, um, and do this. What day is it today? It's, it's the first team. It is, it is Sunday. Okay, good. Sorry, for some reason I just had a idea that it wasn't the day I thought it was. Um, but it is, so that's good. That's all good. Farms. All right, I think I'm going to research some berries as well because um, it, it's just necessary. Uh, instead of doing furniture, which is what I'm currently trying to research, berries are just much cheaper to research. Okay. So we need to name the water siphon. It's the, so the way, soapbox siphon. Do you know the way technology works in this game, Lewis? Mm, yes, no. No, I don't. Okay, speak. so all technologies have a cost, right? Everyone knows that. And the way you research things faster is by spending more money on researching. Uh, however, at the moment, we're locked to only one researching speed, which is $100,000 uh, well, $100, a month. Um, and so, for example, I'm researching berries at the moment, and I've spent $150,000 researching berries. Oh, yikes. Yeah, it's going to take a, a long time to research berries. I'm researching cows. <laughs> oh, wow, that's going to be even more expensive, Lewis. Do you have any idea how much it takes to know what a cow is in this world? We don't know. They're just monsters to us. Strange, they are. terrifying monsters. Um, Cynical Soapbox donated £150 to the Grand Appeal. Holy crap. And he says, um, thanks for doing this. It's not Christmas without the Jingle Jam. Uh, also, thanks for letting us do our silly Rust adventure again. Oh, this is Cynical. This is Cinny. This is um, bloody well Peter and Flax's friend. I think I even have spoken to you a bunch of times. Yeah, Cynical Soapbox. Thank you very much, dude. I think it was, I think it was an amazing time. I think P-Flax... Loves it. It was the one stream. There was a stream he was most looking forward to. That and your he, obviously. He CSGO had a little. Team. He had a little cry at the end of it as well. That was how much it meant to him. Did he? It was, it was very emotional time for all of us. It was really, really something beautiful to see. That's lovely. I'm glad. I'm yeah, glad it went that bad that he felt like great, he had to cry. <laughs> yeah, he broke down and cried. He really thought they were going to do something good, and they just really <laughs> ruined it. I've he got to be broke honest. down in tears. These, uh, Wilson Ada got married as well, uh, which was very exciting on stream. Um, uh, there was some a Dota 2 person whose name I forget. Um, Sir Action who was Slacks. Playing a mad doctor. Yep, Sir Action Slacks, oh, that was him. He, he, he is did great. brilliant, isn't he? He was just insanely funny. He is an incredibly funny guy, yeah. I've always said, like, he's brilliant. Um, they also killed you, Lewis, as well. Um, you got thrown off of a building. Well, uh, for good reason, probably. Yeah. Um, thank you very much. Uh, let's let's get you guys. Soviet cyborg. Soviet cyborg. Chalk. There you go. Soviet cyborg. Thank you very much. He says, getting my own apartment, so I should be saving. But I'm always willing to pitch in for the good old jingle chat. Thank you very much, Soviet Cyborg. Holy crap. Oh, and Dr. Whipples actually has donated from last night. Oh. Whipples. 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 Chocolate Whipples. Choco Whipples. Hang on, I'm just naming it. Thank you. Um, he says, bye. Goodbye. Goodbye. 
Bye bye. Oh, bye no. now. He's back. Goodbye. <laughs> bye. See ya. Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. He actually properly terrified me, um, Doctor Whipples. My God. It was good, wasn't it? Oh, he's, I've seen I've seen Interaction Slacks do that before, and I can't remember where. But man, it just it's it's nuts. Um, it's just it's just crazy. He's, just, he's perfect at what he does, isn't it? Isn't it? Really it's is. almost too good. Um, it's almost too good. He's obviously practiced it because um, it's just it's just too it's just it feels like it's just it's it's too good. Yeah. His, his, his way he does it. Um, is that such as, can it be too good? Can it be? All right, anyway, I'm sending water from the Cynical Soapbox Siphon to Soviet Cyborg and the Choco Whipples uh, Chocolate Cocoa Farms. Excellent. They will just ship that straight to the local farmer's market and then people will be able to do whatever they want with it. They won't have to rely on imported chocolate anymore. They'll have locally grown and locally sourced chocolate grown on an intensive farm right in their backyard. Oh, that's what the people want. It's that what is, they've always that wanted. That is what they want. Uh, oh my God, the pollution actually. You're right at these flour mills. It's getting quite smoggy, Spiff. Yeah, I'm getting an alert saying that there's excessive po uh, pollution. Oh, and it is affecting the potato fields. <laughs> I'm glad I built them so it far away. Oh, I, I am, oh, God, the potatoes are dying. <laughs> oh, shit. It's okay. What are we you have doing a, over there? Look at we this. We have a temporary solution. We can kill this potato field and just rebuild it elsewhere. Further away. This is just like, de just like slowly delaying. Just delay the, the inevitable. inevitable. <laughs> Everything will be okay. Uh, yeah, this is it. Arty Gamer Land. Let's just build it on the other side, where the grass is greener on the other side. There we go. No pollution. Pollution is not a problem. So does pollution only affect the towns and the fields? And Yeah, towns, fields, and I think it can also affect water, because if you start polluting a water supply and then using polluted water to grow pr crops, it's not going to go well. Um, so, yeah. It'll be fine. Though. I've got Don't a third worry. contract to deliver flour. <laughs> Look, I've I've had multiple contracts pop up about delivering oil, and I've just been ignoring them. Uh, it's just not, it's not achievable, Lewis. You can't take this many contracts. Well, I'm, I'm doing it, Spiff. This is my my risk. I'm gonna risk myself. I've got I've got you got to take risks, Spiff, in this game, or else you know where are you? Where are you in, in industry? You know, if you're not willing to let a few companies Go bankrupt. What kind oh, of God. businessman are you? Hmm? Oh, God. I, I like to think that I'm a good businessman, Lewis. A good one. Oh, wow. Well, that's what you think. And you... How, how wrong you'd be. Oh, no. So this is making six... Um, wheat a month. This only uses two wheat a month. Which is really interesting. So... I'm using two tons a month. So, in fact, I can get three more food factories and I can name them after people in chat. Um, we got a huge dono actually just come in from a lovely gentleman named Holy Chaos 45. Oh. Um, so, in fact, I'm just going to call, call it Holy Flower 45. And he says, <laughs> I've been watching for close to 10 years. He donated the Nice, Donio, of £420.69. Nice. Um, and he says, It's been incredible seeing you all grow. Congratulations on raising $20 million in total over the last 10 Jingle Jams. Thank you for everything you've done for charity, for entertainment. Lots of love from Australia. Holy chaos, 45. Thank you so much. What a big, what a big Donio in your, I assume, midnight for you. Um... It's, it's, the Aussies get like the first hour of the stream when we're barely waking up um, and they're like about to fall asleep. Man, I'm, but it is summer right there right now. So I assume it's quite nice outside. So he's had a, probably he's had a nice sunny day. He's had a barbecue. 
It's only 10 p.m. He, only he's 10 had PM. some shrimps on the barbie. Is that what you're saying? He got work at 7.30, though. So you want to make sure you get your eight hours in, Holy Chaos. You want to make sure you get to bed at, like, 11.30. That's what you want. So I, I played this game when it didn't have pollution mechanics, and now that the pollution mechanics are in and are telling me that I'm a bad person, I don't like this game anymore, Lewis. It's actually I, been I pretty rainy this could. weekend. Well, Spiff... This is fine though, because in this you've learned something, right? This is what game, I don't want to is learn like. something. I don't want to learn from my mistakes, Lewis. Well, you have to. That's that's the the true the true joy of gaming. The joy of gaming. <laughs> the true the truest joy of gaming. Let's send these to the additional food factories. I'm actually making money for the first time now, though. Um, I'm profiting. No I have not in the received red. any profits yet. I've only spent money, and I'm about to run out. Oh, dear. Um, did you take too many contracts? Because when you complete one contract, you get a lot of money. Yes. Whereas if you take many contracts and, and don't never complete, complete any. any of them, you're <laughs> not going to do very well. <laughs> well, don't worry. I think I'm going to do this one. So we're going to be fine. Okay, I think we're going to be fine. When I run out of money, I will let the game go to a slightly faster speed. But so far, I'm currently just enjoying it. Your map name goes here. Jingle Jam. Oh, I can do their link. Jingle. Jingle. Oh, yours is up there. Jingle. You've called your something. Jinglejam.tiltify.com slash. No, there isn't one. There isn't a slash. Jinglejam. Tiltify.com. I've hidden it behind the logo. You can't see it. It doesn't matter. Thank you, uh, Holy Chaos. Holy crap. Um, very, very impressed. Thank you so much. Big do big donios. Big donios. And then we got Hundo coming from Caral. Or Caral. I'll, I'll write it down. Carol, Carol, Carol's Flower. These all sound like legit names, honestly. Like you they could imagine do. buying your flower from a place called, like, branded like, up like that. Do you know what I mean? Could, you could see Welcome that. Welcome to Carol's Flower. <laughs> yeah. Um, not so much this one. Just just down the road from Sheila's Shrimp new and three, uh, New Three Forty Two's Flower. That's not so. Daniel's same. Dates. You guys, you guys are managing my flower factories. So, um, let me get some. I need some wheat being delivered in these. What's this? Oh, it's coming in. It's Franklin's wheat delivering flour. So have you set up any logistic centers? Because one of the first things I did was I, I built a warehouse. What is that? Um, uh, it automatically takes in goods and sends out basic resources, and then you choose the destinations of the end products. Oh, shit. Oh, right. So like a warehouse in Anno. Yes. Yes, exactly. When like did they add these? These have been in the game since the start. Okay. Um... <clears throat> Oh, so basically <laughs> I can just... Oh my god, it automatically gathers and redistributes products from to every building in its radius. <sighs> what? So you could just... You don't have to do all the production lines manually. Oh well, my god, yeah, I'm playing like a chump, Spiff. And I did fail my first contract though, which was quite sad. Um, but otherwise things are going better in my, my empire now. Let's send off my contracts to these town centers. Uh, oops, wrong one. Shit, I sent them all to different town centers. <laughs> Send them all to the Bridgewater one. Let's do, let's do this contract first. Okay, fine. Fine, 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 fine. Okay, this is all fine. I'm happy. Anyway, thank you, Carol. He says, hi guys, you are truly inspiring. It is my pleasure to give to charity. I'm doing it to Ilka World. Um, so cool of you to give to LGBTQ plus causes. All too often, these charities get left behind. Trans rights. Carol, thank you very much. Oh, what a lovely message. Um, completely agree. Very happy to support Ilga World. I think we haven't quite finished them yet on the Jingle Jam, so that's a good one to aim for if we want to hit the the cause. Um, so consider dropping a donio their way before the, if you haven't bought the bundle yet before the end of the Jingle Jam, which is tomorrow. Oh my tomorrow. God. It feels weird that it's ending tomorrow. It does, doesn't it? All right. Um, <laughs> Lewis, do you want to see what's happening to my farms now? Because the pollution has spread further. Oh, shit. Spiff. Um, 
it spread. Uh, so we've kind of just had to move all of the potato fields over to the oh other God, side the of the road. Oh my God, the RT Gamer potato blight is happening. Yeah. The, the potato blight to electric boogaloo. Rumble um, tumble <laughs> potato blight. Disaster. Oh, no. I love how you've chucked those fields so far away from the farm. <laughs> well, it's, it's, you know, future proofing. Oh, shit. Look, because you've built those factories apart from each other, they've each caused their own pool of pollution. Oh, you fool. Right. I'm about to finish my first contract, actually. But we've entered winter, which is Ooh. a bit spooky. Is, so how long is winter we an left? event? 200 days left, winter. Yeah, winter, I don't know. I don't know whether that is a problem. What year are you on? I'm on November 25, year two. November 25, year two. Okay. I've got a little bit to catch up with you then, because I'm only on January, year two. All right. I'll catch up. Uh, oh, I think I've researched cows, Spiff. Research completed cows, Ooh. yes. Oh, and my shipment of cocoa is going into town. We're delivering cocoa to this That's farmer's fantastic. market. There we go. Look, it's it's all of these cocoa trucks are shipping tons and tons of cocoa into town. This is great. And this this and should be money. enough to get it growing now. I'm making money. Be making and I finished money. a contract. <sighs> I finished a contract. I'm making money. Spiff, I'm doing it. You're doing it, Lewis. You're doing it. I have to manually set up all these destinations because I haven't built a warehouse, but we won't we'll worry about that. Okay, you guys ship all this to this contract. Oh my god, we're doing it, Spiff. We're doing well it, done. Spiff. Congratulations. So, okay, the next thing to do is research some sugar. Then I can get some cows, combine the cows, sugar, and cocoa, and make chalky bars. And then everyone will get Christmas <laughs> chocolate in their stockings. Mmm. I would like to make chocolate coins, actually. That's what I'm going to pretend I'm making. You know those really cheap, nasty chocolate coins? Oh, they are. Some of them can be quite, you know. They're just so cardboardy. I like. But, yeah. And they're also like. Do you know what I mean? The chocolate is not. Very inedible. It's very not. They are awful. Yeah. I love them. They're awful. <laughs> yeah. I just like the struggle of cracking them open. Do you know what I mean? Because they don't look like they should have chocolate in. They just don't. And also, they're just so fiddly with that little foil thing. Does it stop me eating three bags before dinner, says Spiff Sam, <laughs> on Christmas Day? I mean, that is kind of true. You just kind of, once you get a knackering for chocolate, you're just going to keep eating it, and there's nothing that's going to stop you. I like that. Um, cows, then. Feed a cow for Christmas. We'll put the cows opposite the cocoa. And they need water and wheat. Okay. All right, let's just, let's just turn this off for now. Um, so it needs more, more water and more wheat. It uses... I have to add fields. So I don't know how many fields it can have, but I'm assuming a similar number to... Oh, look at these cute little cows. Must be built within owner's range, right? Fine. No, you can put one on the other side of the road. Yeah, this looks fine. So it can have three, they do 30 days, exactly the same process. Byproduct of leather. Oh, I see. So I get one beef, one milk, and one leather. <laughs> wow, shit. Okay, okay, okay. So I need more water. Let's get another water siphon. Um, we'll put that on the same road. And then we'll put the siphons down. One here. I'll put them down right next to it, fuck it. Okay, put the siphons down there. Connect that in there. Do a little side road. Oh my goodness, I thought 
my finances were going to be hit on hard times, but luckily it's all good. It's come it's good as good. it's piff. Yeah, we got a much needed contract that appeared delivering freight to Dunstable and everything is right in the world now. So we need a little bit of wheat to power this cow farm. So let's build that here. And we'll put that down nicely in line with the cows. Okay, so the cows, the crops will be delivered to the, the cow farm, which I haven't named yet, which needs also water. So the water's going to be delivered to both the cow. So the okay, hang on. So this needs to be delivered to... <laughs> shit, hang on, it's already getting out of control. The livestock farm and crop farm. So this one can feed... Mr. Duckwater, I worked out, could feed two wheat farms, right? Yeah. So each water siphon can feed two wheat farms. So a wheat farm needs three water. A crop farm needs three water. Okay, so in fact, this is fine. Um, this works out fine. Let's name them. Chat. Um, we got the Biggie Kellogg's. It's only oh over God. £100. He says, I hope this... Money is used to create new potatoes. I think we can just call you... We can call it cows. Biggie cows. What's that? Yes, what's, what's, biggie cows. Biggie cows. You approach, <laughs> <laughs> I know that's not your name. You're a cereal manufacturer. In fact, Kellogg's are famously a cereal. Let's make it... Let's make it... Um, biggie Kellogg's. That makes way, way more sense. Thank you, dude. Uh, how many Gs are there? One. I'm going with one. Biggie Kellogg's... Biggie Kellogg's and Biggie Kellogg's. You can have both. Fuck it. You get both. This is how, you, you know, you're... This is how we roll. Oh, my God. Why is this so much... What's up? What's up, Sid? There's two Gs in Kellogg's, but not in his name there isn't. Um, according to this Donio screen. Uh, so that's what I'm That's what I'm going with. All uh, right. So we got we got a cow farm. It makes beef, milk, and leather. How do I? Ch oh, right. I see. I have to send the beef to one place, the milk to one place, and the leather to another place. Right. Yeah. They cows produce so much stuff. They're very useful because they can. Often, if you have a hardware store, that will want leather. If you have like um, yep. a farmer's market, that will want milk and meat. So it's very good at producing stuff. Meat. They don't want meat, though, I don't think. So I need well, to do something case, they'll, they'll with probably the meat. be another uh, place elsewhere that will take it. Ah, okay, good point. There'll be another town that you can ship it You're to. Right, it's just wherever is. you want to ship it. The Cambridge Farmer's over Market will take it. But it does involve going. The meat might be off by the time it gets there. Um, have I fudged this up? Oh, I have. I have not connected these roads up properly. Okay, cool. Take the water. All right, water's going in. This will make the wheat to feed the cows for Christmas. This is going to the farmer's market because we're not gonna we're not gonna worry about making beef products that's just a byproduct um it's like recycling you know where we want to make the milk and we want to take the milk and make it into chocolate yes yep that's what the people want they want chocolate milk and we want to do that because we have researched it question mark no we're researching it it's gonna take two years okay <laughs> Okay. How, so how's your town population grown since the start, Lewis? Because I think I've gone from about I've grown about forty thousand oh. people in my town. Uh, it is important to have a, a high pop. Let's just sorry. Let's just make sure my flowers being delivered for my contract because I forgot about it. Um, but my contracts have, have gone through Spiff very nicely. Two of them have. So nice. I'm hoping for another flower contract to pop up. Oh no, there's a new regulation. 20% extra maintenance costs. That's not cool. 
Why would you do that? <laughs> All right, you ship off the flower to there. Um, the town is prospering, I think. It's growing, Spiff it says. Growing, that is, that's what you like to see. Is that what that's I want? What want to see. But rather what you it want. was like growing rapidly, but well, growing is sufficient, I think. The thing about growing rapidly, sometimes that can just mean giant pollution problems. Right, from the town, though. Well, more from you creating giant pollution problems. I put these ones up here because I thought maybe the pollution will add to this and it'll just make this spread quicker. So I thought, <laughs> I thought I'd just spread it out. Maybe the pollution will add to this existing pollution. Yes, yes, everything will be okay if we just add more pollution, Lewis. Let's speed up a little bit. How do I, how do I know when contracts get offered? Uh, you'll get a giant pop up. Okay. Um, I was get, I guess I was lucky to get three flower contracts then. Yeah, that was quite good. If you manage to succeed on all of them as well, that that's brilliant. Very good. Okay, I've got I've got another one. I'm just going to keep shipping all of my flower to alternative locations. Um, okay, I think the pollution circle has stopped growing. Oh my god, I've got a traffic jam. I've got a very big traffic jam. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. No. Where oh, is all that so coming from? So the issue is, um, because I just have these petrochemical plants just producing oil, when there's not a contract, they just stockpile oil in reserve. So I had like 20 oil and 10 oil in here, all stocked up. And as soon as the contract arrived, 30 trucks came into existence to deliver it instantly. <laughs> Chocolate bars are being researched. It's happening slowly, but surely. Um, the cows are going. The cows are working. I've got some milk building up. I think I actually might have slightly too much wheat here. Because, so yeah, I think this makes six wheat, but it only uses three. So I do need to make a second cow farm. So let's do that. Um, we'll place it, place it next door. Sure. Um, just leave a little gap there, a little quaint village gap. I'm all for I'm all for a gap, you know. I'm all for a little couple of gaps. You know what I mean? Like you got you got to leave a nice little bit of terrain around just to make it look nice. Of course. You know you want to leave room for expect room for breathe room to breathe. More flower auctions. I'm just taking all these. I'm taking all the contracts for flower. Um, I guess it, I guess that's because the, the game knows that that's all I'm making. And so, yeah, it's, so if, me... it's not, it won't offer you a contract for something that you can't actually produce, right? Um, which is the important thing. That's useful. All right, cool. All right, off you go to my livestock farm, and then you sell my beef to a farmer's market. Yeah, and then. You sell me leather to a hardware store. Maybe I'll ship it to the same one. I don't know. I don't want to over. I don't want to overflow the hardware store, local one, with too much leather. You know. Well, I mean, you can crash the price, but in doing so, you make it cheaper to live there, so more people want to live there. That's the idea of growing Ooh. a place, because people don't want to live in a town where no one's supplying them with like milk or eggs. They want to live in. Lewis Brindley's mega town where you can only buy food from one company. Okay. They want to live in a monopoly. They want to I, yes. they want me to be Mr. Monopoly. They love you. And they want you to be Monopoly man. <laughs> Holy flower. Holy flower. Uh Maidstone, right? You guys ship you guys do this delivery. I reckon they'll be able to do this in a year. Just the three of them. Because that makes six every month. Yeah, it should be fine. And then you guys do the Farrington contract. Oh, yeah, this is happening. There's a lot of clicking, but 
the contracts are what's keeping me in this game, Spiff, it turns out. Since I, I did, I thought I was good. playing it wrongly, but the contracts have just come out. People are like, yeah. damn, we need flour. You don't know how to make cakes and pies, but we do. Well, the thing is, if you were playing this with AI companies, the AI companies can also bid on your contracts, um, which can make things slightly insane. But luckily, we're, we're playing single player mode. Oh, crud. I need an additional water supply. Yeah, I do, because this, I only built the, need an additional water supply for that additional livestock. Farm. Oh, my town isn't just growing anymore, Lewis. It is straight up prospering. This is incredible. It's prospering. Okay, I need to, I need to get, right, I need to sort my life out. Um, I think you do, yeah. Let's put another water siphon over here. Get some more water. Um. Oh, this is a bit weird. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Bit of an awkward water supply situation here. Oh, but maybe this is all right. Okay, that actually looks fine. Looks quite cute. I do like the cute things that the cute way this game looks. You know. The game is very cute. It's got a lovely design to it. Water Siphon 4. Okay. This is going to be the... Um, Nerdinand. <laughs> Thank you, Nerdinand. The Nerdinand so, um, Water Siphon. I'm, I'm cracking into the later end of the tech tree, Lewis, which allows you to place more fields per farm and more, like, gatherings per, like, I don't know, water pump or whatever. How are you um, cracking into the end of it? It's, hmm? it's in the tech tree. It's in the tech tree, Lewis. Which? Look in the tech tree. Down at the bottom of the tech tree, you've got all of the things to make your business better, like auxiliary field and harvest research. Air, air purifier, Spiff. You could sort out your pollution. Okay, right. Well, let's not actually go back into helping society. I have no intention to... Trains, you know. zeppelins, boats, efficiency. Yeah. Right, okay. Where do I get the additional fields? Oh, here. Extra farm storage, extra gatherer storage. Oh, I see. See, here we go. So, in fact, this is really low-level research as They've well. They've also got irrigation towers and so on, which is very important. Um, what does that do? I, I have no idea. Do you reckon that <laughs> provides, no like, idea. water to fields around it, maybe? So, like, you just, yes, you just, you probably does, just yeah. send the water, all of your water to an irrigation tower, and it will feed all of the farms in that area. Yeah, Bingo. I think that has and that to be, way it yeah. probably makes way more sense because currently I'm sort of assigning this water pump to these two fields and this water pump to these two fields and this water I'm pump to this I'm about to create something absolutely horrible, Lewis, uh, which is that I have a contract to deliver 41 wooden planks and I have 60 wooden planks in storage, so I'm about to see a million trucks come into existence. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here they come. They just, oh, good they God. just appear. Fortunately, they were all just, they just ready. They were all standby. Stop. Yep. Oh, my goodness. They've got oh, the entire wanted. world to cross. Shit. How do I demolish? I built the wrong building. I want a sugar plantation. Well, sugar. Oh, wow. Oh, and that's the contract completed. We did it instantly. <laughs> oh, God. Guildford is growing so quickly as well. Oh, it's beautiful. My metropolis, Lewis. It's, I am going to need fantastic. better roads, Spiff. Where do you get those from? They are also down in the logistics section of the tech tree. Um, I think it's distribution. Oh, no. And, um... Logistics and administration. Currently, we only have dirt roads research. Then we need urban roads. Then you can do one-way roads, urban roads with increased speed. Um, and then you can, if you really want to move goods over a long distance, you're going to need um, things like trains in advanced distribution or airships or boats, whichever one works for you. Um, 
I am down for... I mean, everyone loves Zeppelins. I'm just I'm, saying. Yeah, I don't know yet. Uh, thank you to Christopher Lindqvist, who donated to the Mental Health Foundation. Um, thank you very much. You now make sugar. Lind, you're so sweet. You make the Lindqvist Sugar Plantation has opened. And Nerdinand Water will deliver you some water. Lindqvist. Yeah, bam. And uh, I need to rename this cow farm as well. I'm gonna let the I'm gonna let the milk build up. For twelve mil oh cracky is building up. That's alright, I'll let it build up a little bit. And then the sugar farm is gonna make sugar, and then I'm gonna combine this cocoa, sugar, and milk to make a chocolate bar. But I do need to research it. It's gonna be a little bit of time. So we'll speed up a little bit. And see where where that goes. What's this? Oh, deliver nine beef to Kidderminster. I'll pass. <sighs> Perfect. Nine beef? You would surely have nine beef. I do, but I'm shipping it to town. You know, okay. I'm shipping it to right. Bridgeport Town. I don't... I, I'm not overflowing. Okay, this. so you're saying you're going to let the people of Kidderminster starve to death, is what you're saying? And well, they'll be need. fine. These contracts mm. are almost going to go through, which will be great. The eventual goal is to make pies, which is why I set up these flour mills in the first place. But they've done well for me, I feel like, on the contracts. Um, okay, that's one contract done. Which one Which one went through? These top ones, I think. Yeah. All right. Let's do the Farrington contract. These flour mills are just an industrial wasteland. <clears throat> I love this. It's just so industrial, isn't it? The flour gets made on these very... The, the wheat gets made on these very organized, like, factory farms. You know, very modern factory farms. And then shipped to this just horrible warehouse industry thing. I guess this is how all of our food is made and we don't realize. You know? Um, and then just, like, just, like, totally grayifies the land with pollution. You wouldn't think a flour mill would be making that much pollution, would you, really? I mean, yes, kind of. They're, they're not the they're not the best, I don't think. No, I think. maybe. All right, sell the sugar into town. So if a 20 flour to Maidstone, we'll take it. We'll take we'll keep taking these deals. Any any deals we get to do with delivering flour, we're taking it. And uh, we'll ship all that off. I finished another contract. Great news. You can have the Maidstone one. Oh, this is this is such this is such good news. Excellent, excellent work, everyone. I'm getting money in, Spiff. I'm actually like making a profit. This is like Same. so well, so not really. good. I'm, we're not technically making profits. We're just. Hoarding goods until the next contract arrives to bail us out of eventual collapse. Chocolate fields. Look at this. Chocolate fields. Sugar fields. We need to name this cow farm. It's going to be called... Thank you, so many people. Oh, big, the, big, Kellogg, Biggie Kellogg's gained an additional G. <laughs> <laughs> he donated a hundo more to tell me that he has gained an additional G. My goodness. <laughs> what, what, what a terrific use of, of funds. <laughs> Thank you so much. That's a, another $100 donation. Uh, I almost didn't read it because I was like, Biggie Kellogg's, I'm sure I read this. But no, he's, 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 properly, he's properly making wheat here. This is going to be the Kellogg's. We're making, where in fact, this is probably how Kellogg's got started. You know, with a simple loan of a million dollars from our father very simple very yeah simple. and um anyone can do it so can you anyone it was you know i don't know why you can't you know yeah and then several shame. bankruptcies later uh they became president biggie kellogg's i reckon i reckon fuck i would vote for someone called biggie kellogg's for president wouldn't you? I I think you you shouldn't jinx it because in the future I think it's very possible we will see Biggie Kellogg's rock up into this world and become the next next prime minister or president. It will happen. I think it's only a matter of time, Spiff. Personally, um, 
Let's ship out some of this extra milk we got going. We, we don't need this much milk. We got too much milk. I was hoping for a milk contract to come along to tide us over, but let's get let's get some vans out. Milk vans. The milkmen are coming. Milkmen. Oh, no. Oh, there's no. Some, some, some congestion, Spiff. Right, I'm finally researching air purifiers. Um... I need like a two. I need like maybe I need like um some one way, what a one way system here, you know. I've left a little bit of space or along all of my, um, all of my entryways, you know, so I can get a two a two a, like an up and a down road in here, like a dual lane, a dual carriageway. Oh, almost I almost sang the illegal song. I can't even risk it. I can't even <laughs> risk singing M, I L K because. They were you so just get, they'll so copyright litigious. strike you immediately. Yeah, as soon as you try and do it, and they were dangerously litigious. Oh shit! Have I, am I going to fail this contract? Shit, maybe I am. Okay, so do you want to know what happens if you fail a contract? Nothing. You get no money, and you've spunked all of those goods, and they just rot away there. Oh no! What? Okay, I'm gonna I'm yeah. gonna quickly spunk out everything to try and finish this contract in time. Everyone, go. If any stockpiled flour, drag it, sweep up the floors. You've got... How many, how many can I deliver? Can I deliver 18? Was there 18 stockpiled worth of flour? Maybe there was. Let's just see. Oh, maybe not, though. 345, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12... Oh, I'm missing six. I'm missing six flour. I don't think I'm going to do it in time. Oh, I failed it. Shit. Where does it say? Oh, no. No, I completed it. I completed it. It's all good. We did have enough. Oh, what a relief. Because I didn't queue these guys up. They were just sat there with all this flour, piles of flour, waiting for a contract. God, that must be a stressful thing to do. Just sitting in a warehouse, seeing it slowly fill up with flour and think, Christ, I hope someone buys all this flour before the weevils eat it. Goddamn flour-eating weevils. Bloody weevils. <laughs> <laughs> you don't hear about the weevils that sure anymore, do you? You don't, no. no. You don't, no, I, you don't I, hear I about all the weevils are doing. They all just... I, I, the last time I heard about flour-eating weevils, I think, was from my mum. <laughs> she was like, oh... Yeah, like, oh, the you, you should really buy organic. She was literally like, "You should buy organic flour, but if you do, it might have weevils in it." I'm like, "Do I want to buy organic flour then?" Like, I don't think organic messages. flour is going to have weevils in it. What's this? A weeble? It's not oh, a weeble. A weevil. A weevil. A weevil. It's like a little, a little shit. A little flour-eating shit. It's like a little ant. There you go. Scientific <laughs> term there. Flower-eating shit. If it's you like look, a little moth, look up it's weevil like in the larvae. dictionary. Moth larvae. You hear about it in medieval prison, like Skyrim. If you were in Skyrim, they'd bring you a loaf of bread with weevils in it. Do you know what I mean? Or you get oh, a bit of mouldy <laughs> bread with weevils in that would be your dinner. Do you know what I mean? It's a very, it's a very medieval kind of yeah. In the Napoleonic ships biscuits, that's right. That would have weevils in it. That kind of stuff. Oh, they would love weevils in those. They can't fucking get enough of them. Crunch, extra crunch. Um, thank you very much to Noob342. I've already named the thing after you, but he said, uh, time of the year to run a checklist, jingle jam, check, game bundle, check, giving money to charity, check. There we go. Shut up and take my money. So thank you very much, Noob342. Amazing. Uh, Neil Ciceriga fan. I think that's that's how I pronounce that. Or is it Sice? Neil Six? Sice? Neil Sice fan. Number 47, he says... You unlock the door with the key of imagination. Beyond it is another door. This door is another dimension. The dimension of doors. You're moving into a land of both shadow and substance, of things and ideas, and substance of both shadow and ideas. You've mm, just crossed yeah. over into mouth dreams. Where is that from? I, re I recognize that from somewhere. Um, someone, someone will tell me where that's from. Twilight Zone. I mean, is it Twilight Zone? No, it's, it's Scary Door. It's from Scary Door. That's right. Um, thank you very much for 50, 50, 50, 50 pounds to charity. That's that's great. That, that's great. Um, we still haven't named a farm, actually. The farm was going to be Josh, Josh's cow farm. 
thank you, Josh. I hope you're doing well. He says, hey, Lulu and Co. Thank you and this beautiful family you've created for keeping everything going and keeping me sane during such a trying year. Even without the plague, this has been a pretty insane year. So massive props to you, Lewis, for holding it all together. Kisses from down under. Kisses from down under, Josh. Oh, oh. down under kisses. Oh. Mm. Uh, if you get organic flour from the Wimbledon area, could you accidentally get Wombles? Yes. What a what a joke. Um, thank you very much, whoever said that in chat. We don't hear much about the Wombles either the, these days. So you don't? Maybe well, do, I guess they don't have the a weevils. kids' show or something. Do they not have a kids' show anymore? I think they brought back the Clangers recently. I reckon the like Wombles would be back round. You know, they were very environmentally conscious. You know, picking up litter and making good use of the things that they find. Things that the everyday That's folk leave want. behind, Spiff. I think, <laughs> I think there's potential for maybe a modern resurgence of the Wombles when you put it like that. You know, definitely. Um, they were very, they were very, they were very good, clang. good lads. Um, oh God! They get used for the spring cleaning campaign. <laughs> <laughs> uh, bring back Uncle Bulgaria. Yeah, he could. He could remember the days when he wasn't behind the times. Uh, with his map of the world. Oh my God! I remember the theme tune so well. Tobamori, everyone. They were all there. All the Wombles. The best. The best team. Uh, chocolate bars still being researched, but nearly done. We're going to deliver chocolate bars imminently. Or in fact... Good job. I'm going to pay off my loan. You know what? Underground, That's what I'm do. overground, wombling free. The wombles <laughs> of Wimbledon, come and are we? Making good use of the things that we find. Things that the everyday folks leave behind. Uncle Bulgaria... He could remember the days when he wasn't behind the times With his map of the world Pick up the pieces and take them to Tobamori I think that's how it goes. That's how I remember it. I don't We're going to get that's DMCA, right. Lewis. That's I don't too know if that's close right. I'm not reading that off one. anything. That's just what chat has reminded me of. Please stop. That's, that's what I remember from the Wombles. Close enough, chat is saying. I genuinely don't remember how it goes. There must be like 25 years worth of something. Um, I don't want to buy a new region. I'm all right. We're going to have a quick five-minute break. You think the last okay. line is different? I can't remember. The Wombles of Wimbledon Common, are we? Yeah, because they're from Wimbledon Common. It's like a little um, park in London, isn't it? Um, they're not, I guess common is not, they're not supposed to be common in the sense that they're lower class. Goddamn lower class. But maybe they are. <laughs> That's one balls. Anyway, thank you, Josh. Thank you. Thank you, Nerdinand. I don't know how we got onto Wombles from Weevils. From Weevils. Weevils and Wombles, it's, it's so similar. Uh, thank you to Jodlern, who just donated to the Mental Health Foundation, £100. Thank you very much. Man, I can't believe doing these morning streams still trickles in so many big donios who haven't guys who haven't donated yet. It's really appreciated. Thank you guys. Um, amazing. Right, I'm gonna make a cup of tea. Spiff, you do the same. Uh, okay. We're gonna be back in a few minutes. Don't go anywhere. Be happy. See ya. Walking out one morning and the snow was all around Saw a little doggy in the local village pan He was all cold and cute and was looking so alone My rocky heart just melted so I had to take him home Brand new friend at Christmas time But I didn't know Mandrew was a super dog, it's true You can tell from his bright green glowing poo Saves the world one dog treat at a time Fetch his sticks and he fights crime Big a man is falling off a log Stop the car crashing into a bog It's a four-pound 
water in the park Rescued some kittens from a shark Stopped the volcano from erupting Then bought some robots in Beijing With a big bank robbery in town Always put the toilet seat down Walk is out with main Drew and the snow is all around But then he runs off madly and is nowhere to be found I'll be waiting for you when you find your way back here I've got you loads of presents and a massive keg of beer Brand new friend at Christmas time Where have you gone? Rescue pirates from their sinking ship To the circus did a cool backflip Pushed a meteor away from Earth Got the pregnant lady to give birth Won a Nobel Prize in chemistry Then went back to school for his PhD Got the fire from burning twice as art Thanks global warming with a massive heart All alone on Christmas time But it's okay because Man, it was a super dog, it's true But everything's easier with two Every hero needs a good sidekick Just let me get my pick Four some ninjas, then diffuse a bomb One king and queen at the high school prom Dive down to fight the giant squid Call an ice cream cone, drop by a kid Gave a seat to a lady on the train Saw the moon and put it back again His attack is went to outer space He trumped in the presidential race One gold and silver at the Olympics Fishing sticks, I never is just for a good time. Drank all the folks to the special wine. Held the Santa by pulling his sleigh. Fucked the brute to show him the right way. Walk together, kick some ass. But forever, Merry Christmas. Slurp. Slurp of tea. Someone called me out for being a slurper yesterday. I said, I've been to a whole, I've been in a whole family of, oh shit, did you ruin Big Bad Santa? Um, Sid, which was it? What song was playing? Oh, it was Diggy Hole. Rip. I, we can just go to another break, chat. Let's just go to another break. <laughs> Quick, replay. It's all right. Replay. I can take, I can take five. I need to slurp this tea and you don't want to hear that. Um, go on. <laughs> Sid doesn't know if I'm joking or not. Uh, <laughs> I'm half joking. That's why it's so difficult to tell. Um, so no, I'm a, I'm a, I'm drinking um, this dragonfly tea, which I gave you a packet of, I think, Spiff. Um, it's caffeine free. It was very nice. Blue stuff. Yeah, it's a good. It's a, it's a top recommendation. I buy. I get through so much of it that I buy it in bulk now, and I end up with. So I bought like ten boxes of it. But because I had 10 boxes, I thought, oh, I'm never going to go through 10 boxes. So I started giving it away. And so I gave away, like, boxes to, like, five or six people. 
and no, then I gone. ran out. And so I was like, fuck oh, sex. No. So now I've, I've bought 10 more boxes now. So now I've got too many again. That's how shit goes, doesn't it? Do you know what I mean? Um, Lewis sing Diggy Diggy Hole. No, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do it. Um, it's gonna be heard by you guys, yeah, in every break, forever more. But it is a good. It's a. It's a good tune. Um, it's an iconic song. It, it's got. I don't a, want to ruin a great it. bop to it. You know. Mm. So how you doing, Spiff? What have you built? Can I see? You can. Um, some things have happened in my company. We're up to ten million. We've paid off my loan. There's pollution everywhere. I built the first air purifier, but because there was a drought caused by my excessive pollution, I don't have the water to fund the air purifier to stop the pollution. Um, so things are going great. So I'm trying to research coastal harvesters so I can get more water out of the ground. I didn't even know I had a loan. Oh, God. How do I pay it off? Budget overview. Oh, my God. How do I pay off my loan? Is there one? Um, what you'd loan? Yeah. There, there can be. Yeah, yeah. Um, you click on your um your headquarters. Oh right, okay. That yeah. of course the thing I'm never using. Uh, loan start a loan, pay off. Oh shit! That cost literally all my money. It was ten million pounds. My start a loan. Why am I gonna? Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I need to take it out again. Need to get my loan back. Oh, oh no! For fuck's sake, Spiff. Well, I didn't say you have to pay off your loan, Lewis. You chose to pay off your loan. Also, the start so loan is the best it. loan because it has the lowest interest. Well, I know. Rates. I realise this now, Spiff. I thought I oh, didn't realise it was no. ten million. Oh dear! Oh dear! Oh, oh, I'm dear. gonna have to take off a stupid loan. I'm going to have to take out a $10 million loan. I'm not really making much of a profit either. All right, fine. Maybe I don't need $10 million. Maybe I need like $5 million. Well, you're not actually making any profit, Lewis, because the money on the right in the green is the amount you make, and then the money on the left in the red is how much you actually make per month when you take off the expenses. Oh. So you're actually making minus 75,000 a month. That's bad news, Spiff. Yes. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Well, fuck. Oh, my God. This isn't good for anyone. I turn the air purifier on, and it is insane. Has it cleaned up? It has just cleaned everything up instantly. It is going absolutely wild. Okay. Let's build a choco factory. Chocolate bar. Okay, chocolate bar set. So this is going to be uh, Gunhild's chocolate factory. Gunhild chocolate. Nice. Um, we're going to have to import all sorts of shit from everywhere. So sugar. It needs one sugar. This thing makes six. It needs one sugar. So do I need six chocolate factories? I'm kind of scared by this pollution aura. Maybe I need to even build it even further away. Yeah, pollution <sighs> is now starting to seep into like my um my trees and all of that, which isn't very good at all. Fuck it, this is, this is not fun. good. Um all right, Lundqvist Sugar, you send it to Gunhild Chocolate. Get rid of the funds bucket, okay. And... Okay, that's the sugar sorted. Then we've got two milk, two cocoa, one sugar. Well, hang on a second, I've actually built exactly that. Very convenient. So this thing makes... It doesn't really explain how much milk it actually makes. I assume it's making three. This thing's making three. Oh yes, free milk. Six. So I'm making <laughs> six milk a month. 
I'm making 12 cocoa a month, and I'm making six of that a month. Sugar a month. So this is enough to power six. I need two more livestock farms, and then I can... You're consistently losing money. Thank you, game. I need two more... <laughs> Game's telling you, get good, scrub. <laughs> so if I make two more livestock farms, I can then power six food factories. Okay. If I... Maybe I should have got a bigger loan. Just throwing that out there. Let's turn all these off for now. Because that's probably going to save me some money. Um, let's get three of them going initially, and then I'll build three more once they're going. This is my plan, my great big plan for victory. Okay, fine. And the sugar will be, oh, the sugar. The sugar can't distribute to six places though, can it? Okay, so I just want to no, send. Um, if you so want to distribute it to more places, you need a warehouse, yeah. And equally, if you want to, you can research stuff because I think a warehouse can only send to, um, uh, oh no, a warehouse can send to like 20 places. Okay, that's fine. Oh, has it got an in and an out on the warehouse? That's a bit weird. Yeah. Okay. And it's very congested. Is it? If you're not careful. Perfect, Spiff. Right, you send all of your stuff to the warehouse. Warehouse one. Okay. And you send all of your milk to the warehouse. Warehouse one. And you... Send all of your milk to the warehouse. Warehouse one. And you send all of your cocoa. Oh God, I'm not gonna be selling anything to the farmer's market now. But that's fine. And you send all of your shit to the warehouse as well, fine. Okay, everyone's sending all their crap to the warehouse. So that'll fill up. Crapola. Are these then going to be... Are these then going to be distributed to... I don't know how to use these, Biff. I'm an idiot. Sorry. Uh, what, the warehouse? So warehouses have a range, and they'll automatically pick up goods and send base goods to the necessary places. So if you have a water siphon, it will automatically get the water now delivered to the warehouse, and then it will send oh. it naturally oh. to where it needs to go. Oh, I see. It's going to do it. Okay. I'm excited. Look at this. So you, oh, that, this is those are the outgoings. And you'd want to check that water and stuff like that is going into the ingoings naturally as well. Okay, cool. I get one more water siphon. Let's put one more water siphon down. So I can power two more livestock farms. And then I'll send the livestock over... Okay, I've got a plan. You're going to love it. I can't wait for it. And then I'm going to have more... more oh, in order to have more cows, I need more wheat. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll worry about that in a moment. This is the classic thing that happens in these games, isn't it? Like, you think you've got enough stuff, and then you're yeah. like, actually... Yeah, the game suddenly goes, hmm, wouldn't be so sure about that if I were you. Actually, you don't have any of the shit you need because in order to have a cow farm, you also need to have a livestock farm. Yeah, so this thing actually is... Are all these working okay? Yeah, so these are all working fine. Fine, so I need... What do I need? Yeah, one, one, one wheat field, one wheat crop farm. Making wheat. All right, I'm going to get these chocolate bars online and it's going to be great. And then I need one livestock farm. Oh my god, Guildford has almost reached a, reached a population of 300,000 and they still haven't built another goddamn shop. We are still working with the garbage regular chubby shops. Uh, 
And then we need you to send your crops. Hang on, we need another one of these. This is, this is quite a lot of stuff to build. But it has to be done for efficiency. In the name of efficiency! Oh, bugger. <laughs> Build it. Slightly in the wrong place. Holy shit, Lewis, your monthly expenses are insane. Lewis, you can't demolish buildings and then rebuild them when you have that little money. You're in minus, minus 188,000, Lewis. I know. It's bad news, Spiff. It's bad news for all of us oh, here no. at, at um, whoever we are. But we're gonna <laughs> fix oh, it. God. We're gonna have to borrow some more money. And then we're gonna need another water siphon. Oh my god. Okay, we're gonna have to borrow more money. There's how much money can we borrow? Take out a loan. All right, bridge bridge bridgeport won't give us another loan, but these guys will give us five million. Alright. We'll have to take it. Oh no, disaster. Don't worry, Spiff. Once we get the... We're, we're taking out a risky investment in order to get our cocoa factory off the ground. Get it into the air. Get it flying. Flying high. I wish Profits. You, I wish you luck with your cocoa factory. Money. Sure it will do Everyone fine. needs chocolate, Spiff. Well, I mean, my people of Guildford don't even know what a chocolate bar is. Um, in fact, they're only asking for just raw cocoa beans. Uh, that is all they want in their diets. They sound like the perfect people to sell to. Um, farms. Oh my goodness, I'm up to 16 million, Lewis. Things are looking good in my company. Oh no, really? Yeah. Farms. Free and livestock. Am I doing this right? Are these working okay? Yeah, they're both working fine. They've got spare wheat. And they're just being fed from one wheat farm. Which makes six wheat. Yeah, they make six. These each use three. Okay, so this is all fine. It's going to have a little bit too much water at this, this supply, but we're going to worry about that in an unknown future. Um, delivering chocolate? Question mark. Are these all happening? Are these all making things? Are they making chocolate? Yes, they are. The food factories are online making chocolate bars for all the boys and girls at Christmas. Spiff. I think I've got the worst road efficiency, Lewis. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this junction. It is a nightmare of garbage looking one way roads that don't actually properly work. Oh god. Oh no. Is there a truck full? No, not quite. There's no truck yet. Not that I can see. I guess these guys haven't made any chocolate yet, but they're about to. Okay. And these guys need to send all their stuff to shops. Oh, shops, God, shops. This shops. is a really big traffic jam now. Oh, no. Oh, it's not looking good at all. <laughs> okay, I think I can fix this by just deleting this road here. This road here doesn't exist. What has happened there? What am I looking uh, it's at? It's creating ghost, ghost trucks. trucks. Ghost trucks. Um, Have you created a one-way road system? Uh, this is what I'm experimenting with now. Uh, you brave, brave, system. brave boy. I respect you. I respect you for it the attempt. It is meaning that I have to demolish a huge quantity of roads, but it's okay. It's necessary. Uh, okay. Livestock farm three, destinations. Milk goes to warehouse one. And leather, we sell it at the hardware store. Okay, 
A bit, yeah, oh, we'll, we'll worry about if the hardware store gets full up later. We don't need to worry about that now. Is it, it, it costs more money to send it further, right? And that's why I'm losing money, because I'm sending yes, this so stuff too the, far. And if you if you have like a whole bunch of unnecessary journeys, like I have I, I have a journey from a lumber yard to a warehouse the other side of the town, and then the warehouse takes the wood back into the town, which is very inefficient and costs me money. But at this point, I'm too lazy to actually do anything about I it. I see. And so I think the issue I maybe have then is that... Um, oh my God, town prosperity bloated? What does that mean? <laughs> what does bloated mean? Bloated? <laughs> Bloated. Oh no, I've got a fat town. I need some one-way roads right, right up in this. Let's see if I can buy them. Oh, I think I know the problem. I think I'm. I think I know what the problem is. Of course, the problem is that I've got all these flour mills filling up with flour, and no one's buying them. That's the big problem here. Of course, no one wants flour. I forgot I built all these flour mills pointlessly. Yeah, you might want to sell a few of them. Just a few. Ooh. I could shut them all down. Or maybe I could just ship them, ship them off the map. Yeah, if you just want to throw them off the map, um, they will make some money. But of course, if it's a really long journey and they're being carried there individually, You've got to take a look at how much it's going to cost the truck to go there. What, what can I? When can I make something useful out of it? Well, no. let me take a look at the tech tree. Let's see what flowers all. Chocolate about. cake. Do mm. so I wanted to make a berry pie? But I need the dough. No one wants donuts either, or waffles. No one's interested in those things. All right, let's just let's keep dreaming. And send this to the state. <laughs> okay, so if you send it to the state, it to I, the think orphans. It, I think it makes its base value, which is probably going to be about 6k, I'm going to hazard a guess. Um, Sending my flower to the state to feed the orphans. They're going to eat gruel. Okay. Meanwhile, how's my chocolate going? Have I delivered one yet? Why is this not working? That's my next question. What are you missing? What's this error? Cannot reach where... Oh, I haven't plugged it in. Fool. Foolish. Foolish boy. Okay, that would help, wouldn't it, if I actually built the road? Oh shit, was that chocolate there being delivered? Yes, there's a chocolate van. Here. Oh my goodness. A chocolate van. Let's follow vehicle. We're doing it. We're, gonna, we're, gonna, we're making minus $580,000 a month. But don't <laughs> worry, once this chocolate van hits, people in Bridgewater are going to lose their marbles. Bam. Let's look at that. See? I got some money. I don't, didn't see how much money I made or if it was even a useful thing to do. But I think it's going well. This storage is building up with sugar, cocoa, and milk. This new milk should be coming in pretty soon. And so I should have enough milk for three more chocolate factories. Oh my so God, let's build... There's only 1,250 pounds left on the National Video Game Museum. Oh, that's, that's good news. That's going to get finished today, probably. Bam. I'll read. Oh, um, I'll set these up. But I think, I, I think if these are near a warehouse, they're automatically set up, right? So I just need to say, build chocolate bars. Yeah, if there's chocolate in the warehouse, they will automatically be set up. The only thing you'll need to do is they will ship their chocolate bars back to the warehouse. And then you need to set from the warehouse where you want the chocolate bars to go. Oh dear, this is a bit of a nightmare, this. Well, I mean, you're up and running now and you're making money each month, which means you can just speed up Oh, it says I'm making bit. money. 
Yeah, you are now properly making real money now. Oh, I didn't build this road, sure. It's nice that it tells you which roads you forgot to build. And... How does this... What, what road here is not connected? Maybe it was just too congested. <laughs> <laughs> this is very congested here. Once I get these one-way roads, congested. I'll build a one-way road down here and up here, and it'll be much, it'll be much smoother. Because currently all the chocolate that goes out and all the supplies that come in have to come out the same. Did about 18 leather to made stand. Ah, fuck it. Screw that. I'm just selling it to the hardware store. <laughs> See, it said I was making money, but then I think I think it's it's all packed up. There was like a temporary moment where it predicted that I would be making money, and then it realized after the contract was failed. Um Oh my god, someone in chat asking how much does this game cost? Well, if you were to buy it on its own, I think it's £19. But if you buy it in for a charity bundle, you spend £25, get this game, all the money goes to charity, and you get a whole bunch of other games as well. Yeah, like you get Prison, Prison Architect, Architect, Starbound, and Colony Survival. You get Element T2, Tooth and Tail. Like, so, like, there's some really good games in there as well. Like, Transistor's really good. This War of Mine is in there. That's actually a really good game that's never been in a charity bundle. Dicey Dungeons, don't forget about that. So, yes, the game is in the Jingle Jam. You can buy it uh, right now. Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. The shop, the, my town is growing, and I can choose what businesses to grow. And I have the opportunity to build the wall panels necessary to grow it, or I'm just going to spend money and it will grow instead. There we go, Guildford has grown! Guildford. Is a, Guildford is a heavy industrial town. Is that what it says it is? Yeah. Wow. So what, it has a specific building now, does it? Yeah, because I, I built a, um, a heavy industrial shop for construction goods. That's uh, cool. Which I can now ship furniture bases to. Okay, I need, actually need to research furniture bases. And cardboard boxes! <gasps> and wall panels! Oh, lovely. Um, oh, this is brilliant. Uh, I love the boxes. Is this a loop? Oh my god. I built, I built a really weird runway road. I think it works. So at this point, they can go into the warehouse because no one needs to go any further than the warehouse, right? And then the warehouse can either go left or right. Yeah. Okay, this works. Oh my god! Um, I found a special mode, Lewis. Uh, press F10. You found a sp uh oh a cheat mode. Ooh. No, no, no. You can go Ooh. right down to the base level. Oh, look at that. Oh. Do you want to give us a tour of your of, of Guildford? Of my empire. Okay, right. So we have the lovely metropolis of Guildford here. Um, on the outskirts of the town, we have the massive copper fields, which were producing huge amounts of pollution until we built this one anti-pollution center, and now everything is fine. Uh, here's one of the free lumber yards that we used to deforest the world. Um, here's one of my free giant water pumps, which we use to sustain perpetual drought. Uh, then there is our lovely lumber yards, our furniture factories, then our warehouse distribution center and the spaghetti junctions. I mean, I have no idea what this bit of road does. It, it doesn't really do anything. Um, it doesn't and then seem it, congested. Well, it gets congested when we get like a huge order in from like the oil fields over here or something. That's when that's when things get a bit insane. Oh, and that is my lovely company. That's beautiful. That looks great, Spiff. I'm very impressed. So, what are you actually selling? What's your actual your furniture? Uh, we're we're not actually really selling that much beyond the basic goods. It's mostly oil, uh, wood. Um, then copper wires and I think berries and beyond that we are producing furniture and we are producing oil but we only sell those on contracts oh wow really 
Okay. But now that this town is teched up, I can finally start selling uh, the the furniture to the town instead of nowhere, basically. I just accepted a deal on a contract on chocolate. My chocolate factories are cranking out chocolate bars at a rate of knots. I need to name all these actually. Let's get some. Let's get some messages in from chat. These, it's not as beautiful as yours is, Biff. I'll give you the quick tour though. So, um, hang on, let's, let's, oh, hang on. Oh, how do I, sorry, let me just turn it down to normal speed. Um, bam, so over here is the Great Lakes of, um, of Kidderminster and Bridgeport. <laughs> uh, we have water pumps here, pumping water out of these lakes and taking it down to these inland farms. We have cows here doing their business. Oh, them cows. Cow oh, can you zoom in on those cows? Cowing around. Of course I can. Oh, look at them. They're so cute. They're, they're hopping around. We, 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 we oh. use them for three things. Milk. Um, we feed them with wheat, obviously. These are the wheat farms that feed them. Of course. And then they, they, they create milk, which is shipped out. They create beef. And they create leather. Uh, the the beef and the leather go directly to the stores, whereas the milk is taken down this road to this warehouse, where it is combined in these factories with sugar and cocoa beans to make chocolate bars, which are being shipped to town. Uh, certain people want luxury chocolate bars being made, and we will handle that. Over here, of course, is my other factory. These guys just make flour for no reason and ship it out of state to the orphanages and hungry folks who want <laughs> gruel and other... Oh, lovely. Just flour and water. That's garbage. all they need. Flour and water. That's literally it. I wonder if we could slap a label on it and call it vegan and see how well it could sell. Oh, well, that's my. this is my terrible town. I can't believe I spent two hours making it's this. It's quite good. It's quite good. I'm very impressed. And you should be too. I should be doing these auctions, really, but I'm, I'm a bit lazy. Um, I kind of don't want to mess with my production lines too much. I've already got... I'm trying to see if I can break even, which currently I can't. I guess I do need to either shut down all of this flower stuff, because it's just a drain, because no one wants to buy it, or repurpose it into something else, like convert these food factories to make some sort of different food. Um... Like, maybe beef stew. Beef stew, or um, cooked vegetables. Vegetables. Olive, very nice. olive oil. No, I don't think. I don't think anyone wants any of this stuff. They're very specific with their taste in Bridgewater. They only eat yeast, <laughs> apple <clears throat> smoothies, cheese, olive oil, canned fish, orange juice, and soup. And obviously chocolate bars, um, of course, which are being delivered and not actually. Do you know what? Not really. They're not really paying very well for them either. Look, they're only paying 110 percent of their base value. So should really have sold them to someone who put a higher value on them. This is not like Open TTD in a sense because it's a little bit more tightly tuned. Um, it is. It's, mu it's don't more. It's more factorial than Open a millionaire TTD. from doing one train line. Yeah, so Open fairly... TTD is is very. You can kind of like drop in, do whatever, and it's quite difficult to lose. This is very much. You can make money by accident, but not much. And in order to do well, you have to nail the efficiency levels. Like later on in the tech tree, you can spend like um, you can like increase the upkeep of a building to increase its production by twenty five percent. And yeah. so you can use that to nail the resource spread. You can obviously. I think there is a way for you with the warehouse is just to sh just to build these things, get them really overclocked, and send them all to a warehouse. And then from there, um, you can either send them to existing production buildings and then buy up, like from locally, like any missing, um, any any um, what's the opposite of surplus, M um, shortfall, I guess. <laughs> or you can sell the overflow to town, you know? So, def deficit 
shortfall. That's what I was looking for. Uh, but yeah, look at this. The chocolate vans are all going. But yeah, you can, you can hold on to a certain amount, for example, of chocolate in here. Um, and if you wanted to make that into like chocolate cakes or whatever, you could say, okay, always keep 50 in here to supply the chocolate factory and any more than that, sell it. So yeah, you can definitely get this all very efficient, very exciting. Uh, Chotka Chapinia just donated hundred pounds. I've already donated a hundred pounds on day one, but I'm doing it again. Keep on keeping on boys. Wow. Thank you. Thank you very much. That is a, that is a name. That's a whole bunch of monies. I, I'm not making any money out of this though, Spiff. I'm disappointed. I think I need to. Well, uh, how many, how much of the chocolate are you actually selling? Like all of it. I feel like, I feel okay, like it's all going, well, this van's full I, of it. Yeah, but are you selling too much chocolate? Yeah, probably. Because you have to remember that you, you're, each of those chocolate factories are using 13,000 Do, uh, like dollars each month in upkeep are they making thirteen thousand dollars in upkeep because you've you've produced too much chocolate that's your issue there i know but I, it was efficient to do so it, it's yeah but it's not efficient it's only efficient if you can grow the town so the the, the demand for chocolate increases that's your problem the town is growing slowly no you've scaled it up too quickly lewis too quickly I'd probably be better off if I just bloody well sold my wheat straight up, straight up here. You know what I mean, rather than making it into flour. I mean, if you want to produce that much excess chocolate, you can, but you have to sell let's it just, at the state let's lines. Just sell all, let's just turn off all these flour. Because bags. not all of that chocolate is going to sell at the end of the month. You're just going to eventually fill up the storage of the shop. They're going to have like 400 chocolate bars in the back, and you don't see any of that money until it sells. Turning off all my flour mills. They're all they're all going off. I'm just gonna sell this wheat directly to the directly to the town. They want wheat. This is this is probably what I should have done to start with, honestly. I don't know why why I did this. I was I was dreaming big, is what I was thinking. I was thinking going straight up the tech tree when I should have started simple. You know? Well, you can you can be line up the tech tree, and you did do a fine job of doing that. You but know, I think you, you incur little losses along the way, right? You incur lots I think of little the, costs. The big issue you've made is you've made a very efficient production, but not an efficient income. It's kind of like you've. It's kind of like you're running a factory, Lewis, and you've gone, okay. Well, if we want to get like the lowest cost production, we need to make 700 t-shirts, despite the fact that there are only ever going to be 40 t-shirts sold sold each month. So you're producing a massive excess of product that is never going to get sold. Oh. Yeah. Chocolate bars. Chocolate chocolate vans, off you go. I'm happy with all my road system. I think that, that has solved the well, I'm glad the you like your road system. Why have you still got the dirt road? You could you could get rid of that dirt road. I could do, but that it, would involve... It will make a difference. That would involve paying attention. Got plenty of supplies. I know, I know. This is going. This is going. Good. I suppose I could like overwork my factories for a little brief period of time just to use up the sub oversupply that I have. Okay, I've, I've got a new new contract to ship out chocolate bars to Maidstone. These contracts pay even better than the normal grocery store. So if I can ship that out, that makes good sense. Um, what was the next on the tech tree thing I wanted to do? Oh, I need to turn the flour mills off. Okay, so remember, spending stuff on the tech tree takes time and it costs and money. And costs so, money, yeah, I so, know. So, yeah, and it, it takes time based on how much money you can sink into technology. Canned fish needs tins. I don't even know how to make those. I guess I have to make those in heavy industry. Tins. Why do I even make, the, oh, barrels? No, that's concrete. Oh, tins, cans. Oh, wow. Some of these things, like tin, tins of fish, are complicated, it turns out. Yep, it turns out they are. This is a tier four thing. They want that. They want that in my town. I should have looked at what they wanted at the start, not just gone with berry pies. It was madness. <laughs> turns out not everyone wanted late game berry pie technology. Cans, uh, fish, olive oil, okay. I see. So I need, I need a full, in order to make the cans for the canned fish, I need a full production line for 
um, for everything. I can upgrade my dirt roads. Let's upgrade these dirt roads. I'm not sure it's going to make... Oh, it might make a bit of a difference. Let's, let's set up like a proper one-way system over here. Um... Here we go. Um, all right, we'll go all the way back with this. I don't think I need it here. Okay. And then we can just make urban roads out of the rest of it. Any roads that look a bit congested, we'll put proper roads in. It's not very expensive. Once the ghost trucks sort themselves out. Oh no, these guys, these ghost trucks were driving on the wrong roads. Yeah, they'll take a while. Um, oh, because I guess they pre-assigned their path beforehand. Yeah, when it leaves, it gets, it gets its path. It doesn't adapt on the fly. Okay. I can just have a little cheeky urban road here. See, look at that. Much, much more efficient. Not necessarily, not necessarily paying any better or really saving that much effort. Do I want to send milk to Cambridge? Do. I've got a bit of a random extra milk line around, so I suppose I could do it here. Let's do it. Malk to Cambridge. Trucks dispatch cost reduced by 26... 26... 26%? How much, how much am I going to save? I don't know what the num math on that is either. Okay. It's all falling apart, Spiff. Um, uh, so the, the truck dispatch cost saved by 25%, I think, does work because you're spending like... You spend a lot of money on dispatches all the time. Quite a lot. Yeah, it, it's an endless amount of money. Um, my God, I think, let me check. I'm spending... I'm spending about 200000 a month on truck upkeep. Can you get married in this game? Asking for sips. Spiffy. <laughs> you rude man. <laughs> uh... I guess we could do. We we would have to like build our little houses next to each other though. Or maybe we could just move. It. Maybe if you delete your HQ. It's a bit yeah. I don't know. Uh, so anyway, I, th I I I feel like I feel like Spiff. What you're building is vastly superior. You've you've built like. I mean, actually, I just focused on one town. You can keep and I you can keep going as well. It. That's the thing. I'm like I feel like I have to stand still to catch up whereas you are like you're continually well, expanding I, I do keep hemorrhaging money but that's just because I, I'm spending one million a month on research so that I can speed up the tech tree process but that gets you access to like a new <laughs> set of things that you can deliver to that town though, right every time yeah. you unlock a new thing that's a new a new small little network that you're setting up and adding to your town yeah yeah I yeah. am Anyway, this is a part of Jingle Jam. Where this is a game that's in the bundle. If you're just tuning in, hello. Um, it's a it's a kind of like it's what is this game, Spiff? It's like um, it's it's like a modern recreation of Factorio crossed with Open TTD is what I'd say. It's Open TTD for non sweaty tryhard space nerds um, who just want to create super duper German uber efficiency because you can nail efficiency in this game like no other. If you want to micromanage the efficiency of your, your production centers, you can. You can spend an extra 200% on their upkeep and, you know, get plus 100%, well, half the production time by spending twice as much, but equally increase pollution by 400%. There's always trade-offs. That's what I love about this. It just gets more and more insane the further you go. Are you just selling furniture bases, which is just like... It, yeah, it's, it's like, like MDF um, fiber board, yeah. like plywood. Yeah, I'm literally boards. selling fiber board for like three million to just some <laughs> random people. They're like, I like how the people are just like 
quite happy to buy the raw materials from you to make their own fiberboard. stuff out of it. We're now making that. wall panels, though. This is actually, you know, something that we're making. People know what wall panels are. I think I know what a wall panel is. It's this flat pack yeah. furniture empire. Are you just Ikea? That's what you're doing. Oh, my God. Yeah, I am basically ikea it, yeah. You're cutting down the trees, making it into cheap, shitty furniture and just sp spamming it into people's houses. You mean good, happy, awesome furniture? S Spiff Kia. Thank you very much to Dyslexic Rhino, who says he's been watching for a while, can finally give back. Here's a hundo. Thank you, Dyslexic Rhino. What a, what a lovely donio. A very kind donation. Um, jingle jam. Nicholas... Irjana? Wow, that's a hard um, surname you've got. There's multiple umlauts in there. It looks, it's a very Christmassy name, anyway. Uh, I hope you're doing well. He says, I'm very happy to say I'm able to donate more and more every year. The Yorkshire holds the Jingle Jam. This is my fifth year donating. Happy holidays for Sweden. Happy holidays um, to you, Nicholas. Thank you very much. Um, Gunhild, thank you, says, thanks for getting us through. Much love from Norway. Man, Gunhild, Nicholas, thank you. Dyslexic Rhino, thank you. Joe is watching. He says, thanks for another fantastic Jingle Jam. Best wishes to all. Jingle Jam ending oh. tomorrow. It's your last chance to get the bundle today or tomorrow. Uh, today, we got some... After me and Spiff are done, we got Ped, Leo and Ravs are coming in. They're going to play some For the King, which is in the bundle. Really, really... Again, we forgot to mention oh, that. But for that the is King is great. a great that game. Is, it's like... D and D, but with friends, and doesn't take you seven hundred million hours, and it's just fun. It's really fun. And oh. then the game after that is um, is, is 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 high rollers. High rollers are going to be on at five five to eight, so that'll be that'll be really fun. And then after that, we're going to see some sweaty shooters with uh, Ravs and Sips G. Really, and possibly also Mark Humes, but I don't know if he's he's doing high rollers, so he might have a little break and then join them later. But yes. Lots of interesting uh, streams coming today. Tomorrow, obviously, we're doing Fighting Fantasy. Yeah, that's um, going to be good. In the afternoon. And then I think there's something else. The painting. Me and me and Alex and Tom and Ben are doing a Warhammer painting stream. Yes, um, the legally distinct not Battle Boys painting stream. Definitely not, because Tom's in it. And uh, Tom's, well, Tom's, it might be the Battle Boys and Tom. Um, of course. Which is good. And then... Uh, then that'll be the end. I think Nazi's going to wrap up the Jingle Jam. We yeah, haven't even planned be whole, a week three, whole bunch of honestly, us. at this point. But I'm sure we'll get we'll get back to normal. There'll be some there'll be some streams on each of the days, probably vaguely in line with um, what was usually happening. So Tom and Ben will come back, and then we'll do. Um, some colony, colony crew. Maybe we'll pick up our colony survival game again from Christmas. Um, we've got a. We'll do an armchair admirals. A couple of streams of that. There's a few. I think Tom wants to run something D and D, like a Call of Cthulhu or something, or possibly like a um, microscope or something like that. So yeah. After so next week we haven't got a schedule, but there will be streams. Um, but we're going to focus hard on just this this two weeks. Uh, there's a lot of reasons it's only two weeks this year. It's it's mm, it's it's easier to get games for the bundle if you keep it shorter because the a lot of the games want to be involved in the Steam sale. Um, Steam sale, Christmas Steam sale, is where a lot of game devs get a lot of their money, and it is also a lot of logistics to keep up throughout the entire month of December for a developer. There's a lot of reasons why. Yeah, so so it allowed me because a lot of the games that are going in the bundle will have a Steam sale at Christmas, and that's where a lot of people don't even know that the bundle is. I think the vast majority of people don't know that this is happening at all, um, and so you know, a lot of the games will still sell very very well in mid December when the Steam sale starts, which I think is about it's about to start right now. Is has it is it started yet? The, the thing is, considering we have a hundred thousand keys to give to charity, what will probably happen is especially a game like Element TD2, which is the crack cocaine of tower defences, you'll be playing Element TD2 because you got it in the bundle. Then Steam Summer Sale, well, Steam Christmas Sale comes around and you're like, hey, mates, do you want to play Element TD2? And they're like, oh, no, I can't. And it's like, oh, well, you should have got the bundle, but you know what? It's okay. It's on sale. It's and like then now they're off. addicted. Yeah. So and that's, that's so it's, it. It, their lives are over. It works well for everyone. Um, 
we get a lot of money for charity and you guys get really amazing games at like like this super dirt cheap price you know into your into your steam library i mean i've ended up buying a, a bunch of random extra crap this christmas for people like um and like dlcs and bits and bobs you know it's, it's great for everyone so it works great um I'm very happy. I'm very happy to do it. And I think two weeks makes a lot of sense. But that's just one reason why it's only two weeks, right? Because there's loads of other reasons. I think if Spiff did a whole month of the kind of level I he's just been doing... I wouldn't appear in week three or four. He I would don't, just collapse. I, I don't know how it's viable. <laughs> but also, um, we've got a... In, in the UK, um, week three is going to be... We talked about doing a week three or not. Um, but week three is always hardest to fill. And then... We're closing the office on the 18th is when we're, when we're officially ending. So that's only five days away. So it's easier for studio to get some get some rest and stuff because everyone sort of overdoes it a bit. We're just we're just scaling it back a little bit, and I think it's I think it's it's done fine. You know, I'd I'd, I'd rather we had like a, a sort of solid end rather than it sort of trickling along until the end of the new year. Even though that does raise a little bit of extra money. Um, I think we, we I think we made the right decisions, so I'm very happy. Spiff, you've done great this year. It's been great. It's been a really great okay. jingle jam. It's been good fun. I've had a really good I love time. The, I love the cute little messages you sent me over WhatsApp, Lewis. That really made my little day. It's very adorable. Yeah. Well, you know, got to say, got to, got to send little secret love notes to my boy. Uh, oh, Charlotte lovely. has donated. She says, my boyfriend James and I love watching the jingle jam together. Uh, however... Given the circumstances, we can't spend our anniversary together, but we are watching the stream together. <laughs> oh my God, that's so sad. Hopefully you will get oh. some time to see each other over Christmas. Um, at least in the UK. Um, although it's kind of a bit weird, people are being allowed to sort of see their families for a few days. I don't know how it works in your countries. What's the, what's the, what them rules? Um what what are the what are the rules in like Sweden and stuff, in Australia? And Sweden basically has no rules. Uh, it's very self enforced. <laughs> yeah. At the moment. Um. Anyway, good luck, Charlotte and James. Hope you hope you do get to hang out over Christmas. Uh, Hedgy or Heger says my grandparents would rather we donate their gifts. So this is really from Jan and Anna or Jan and Anna. So I think that means you've rather than get them a christmas present you've given them you've given some money to charity on their behalf oh which is a very nice idea is that's a lovely thing to do and you also get a ton of games they you well can, they do their grandparents you do. can give your grandparents dream daddy dating simulator they'll <laughs> love it <laughs> yeah okay well, maybe dream dream granddaddy um thank you guys holy crap willie dd has donated to the grand appeal 50 pounds thank you very much willie and Cassie has donated as well to Ilga World. Thank you very much. Look at all these donors coming in. Uh, Sebastian, thank you very much. He donated. Thanks for all the hard work. Wish you a Merry Christmas. Amazing. I'll see if I can get through some of these, actually. All Surrogate says, thanks for helping us get through a really tough year. You guys are great. Thank you very much, dude. Aww. Psychotic Toadstool, 40 pounds, says, love your work, guys. Keep it up. Wish you all a fantastic Christmas. See you all again next year. Thank you very much to you. Uh, Boris the lad uh, says, "Gots got to be in, gots to be a lad in e." I don't know what that means, Boris the lad, but um, much appreciated. Uh, thank you, thank you so much. Uh, he asked if we're going to do anything different this year, like invite more influencers. Influencers, yeah, it's difficult to um, to know. And it contact takes a people. huge amount of uh, of pre planning. It's tough. Um, like even though um, Dream Daddy is obviously made by Game Grumps, and they are um, obviously big supporters of of the Yogs and Jingle Jam, it's very hard to find a time and that works for us and them to do something together. You know, and so it's hard it's, to like. So I think you know, the, the easiest way to have other content creators in is you basically need them to be running streams independent of the Jingle Jam because. If you start inviting content creators and you also add, add in Yogscast content creators, you suddenly have like 40 people all on one stream. And that's a very difficult thing to format unless it's something like the Minecraft Championships. Because if you have like five people in a Discord call that don't necessarily know each other and they're all streaming to different audiences and different communities, that's a mess. 
That's a big mess. No one's going to have fun there. So you have to manage it very hardly. Uh, it, it can be tricky. But, it, yeah. It's complicated. But at the same time, like, um, it's no good for us to be meeting someone, like another content creator that we've never interacted with before for the first time. You know, I think it has to be someone yeah. that you know or are friends with or have some, yeah. at least one of you knows the other one, right? I think it's hard to get the collabs working. Um, I mean, it's difficult because it's it's very difficult to get into new communities on YouTube um, and Twitch as well. Like Certainly the Yogscast content creator base, it is it's semi-incestuous. Uh, we all raid into each other. We all work with each other. It um, sounds really easy. When we're not working, it we all play really games easy. with each other. Because Sips has loads of friends from Among Us and, you know, RT's friends with Kevin. You're right, chat. Like, people are friends with each other, but, like, you know, it's it's hard to lean on that and then organize it through that. You know, it's like, it's, yeah. it was tough enough. We did well because RT is actually very communicative and friends with us and very close to us. And so it was easy to get him organized on the streams that we were in. Um but I think to go a next step and ask him to get other people involved is is another, you know, it was almost like it was it was in like our limit, I think, was getting him involved to the extent that we've got. I think using his contacts is a different question. And I think the same with Sips, like it was hard enough to get Sips in the five streams that he's in, let alone ask him to organize streams with people that he knows, you know. Um, so I don't know. It's, it's tough to like. It's all like getting Sips and Sweet Anita together. Like that was that happened. That was great. I've I, I've watched bits of that stream and it was hilarious. Um, but like those things were actually so much work to organise. And I think that um, we want to do it. It's not that we're not trying. Basically, we are. But it, it, like the effort it takes to plan one stream, if you take that effort and then put it into planning a stream with a collaboration, suddenly it's days and days and days of work. Like a lot of the streams take days and days and days of work, excluding it's the just, stocking it's just, stuffers. It's just a lot of <laughs> nagging, actually. Like it's a lot of like making sure people know that they need to be there on time, you know, at the right time. And we don't even yeah. do that with like this stream was supposed to be Pedguin and friends because we didn't know what exactly what would happen. Um, but me and Spiff were here, so it turned out fine because we're we're, we're Yorks, Yorks folks, so we can always pick up the the the, the slack. And we're happy to do so. Um, but yeah, that's an interesting, interesting discussion. But next year, I'd like to get more influence involved. I think we've always tried to, and we've always been open to it. But often, um, it's kind of hard. It's kind of, it's still. We're trying to make the Jingle Jam feel like it's more than the Yogs cast. Like it's like other people can get involved and have their own. Um, yeah, because otherwise, otherwise, it's difficult to get people in. Like, um, it, unless you're a fan of the Yogs cast. When you see the Jingle Jam, you think, okay, that's a Yogscast event for the Yogscast, doing Yogscast stuff. And you have to try and break into the Yogscast audience and community. And that's difficult and daunting for a lot of content creators. I think a lot of other influencers also part. don't know who the Yogscast are and don't, no, who en don't yeah. know who any of us are and don't uh, certainly aren't fans. You know, a lot, of, a lot of streamers, the biggest streamers, the biggest YouTubers, um, are so focused on their own platforms and their own I mean, audience, it's very busy, you know? especially at Christmas. If you're a YouTuber and you're not pumping out a video once every day at Christmas, you're basically just pouring money down the drain. I don't expect um, them to either, like, kind of thing. I mean, it does still feel like, you know, why would I... If I was another influencer, why would I help out the Yogscast? Why would I, you know, send my audience over there kind of thing? Um, they might stop watching me and they'll watch the Yogs instead because the Yogs are just so much better, you know. You that, gotta, is, that is the issue gotta, on Twitch have that, where you can directly that mindset, see that. That right? Um, yeah. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm, I'm joking. But it's um, it's it's a complicated situation. I think we, we do struggle to get people or other influencers involved, even when it is for charity. I think we do Which our own... Which is so own... bad at making friends. That's the issue. But at the same time, we do our own charity drive. You know, this is our jingle. This is our, our charity drive. And, and sometimes someone will ask me to do a charity thing in March or whatever. And I'll say, no, we've just done the jingle jam. Do you know what I mean? I don't want to have to get involved with this other thing, you know. And But then again, yeah. a lot of other Yogs people do get involved with other charity stuff throughout the year. But I can... Do you know what I mean? Like, I, I can see... A world in which someone says, "Well, I'm not going to 
a creator says I'm not going to do Jingle Jam because I'm doing my own charity drive in January or or something. In the same way that like a couple of our big partners this year were running their own charity events and therefore didn't want to be involved in the Jingle Jam, you know, and yeah. that's that's okay. I don't, I, and it's no, I don't want people to be feel guilty that they're not involved or anything like this. It doesn't make any sense, right? It's all about. No, um, it, it's all for charity at the end of the day. Um, MHJ. You is see here. the great big raid we got on this year's Go stream. That was terrifying. That was really weird. But that people. was was that like a yeah. was that from a, like a Minecraft audience or something? That was. A it bit... was from uh, it was from a uh, a guy called Tubbo who is part of the SMP Live Minecraft crew. I discovered an interesting thing about the SMP Minecraft crew. Um, mostly organised by people like Schlatt and Carson. Um, Jay Schlatt, big fan of OpenTTD. Um, that's how oh. I originally found his channel way back when. Uh, but also, more importantly, they're all big fans of CSGO. Um, they're not good at it, but they're fans of CSGO. Right. So, yeah, you can you can see where I'm going with this. I'm, I mean, I'm not saying that there's a potential opportunity here, Lewis, but I'm saying there's an opportunity here. We well, need to be better at this then, maybe. We, it's tough. We haven't, I, you know, I, I, we haven't got someone who's really aware of these people and what they're doing and there's so much happening online like Tubbo I didn't know until I went onto Twitter and I was like okay right I know his friends here and so that's how I I've heard of him but there's just so many people out there in the wider world online that we can do stuff with but it's 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 very difficult finding them making sure that they fit in and that they enjoy their time and that everyone can have fun because at the end of the day that's important people having fun making money for charity you're completely right. Um, you're completely right. Uh, we might well do some more CSGO stuff in that case. I, I feel like these, these, these events that we've organized have been very successful. I always yeah, say yeah, every Jingle Jam that I would great. love to organize more. Um, but what happens is there obviously... There so many fun first-time events this year, like the Minecraft Championships. That is just wild. That was really, really cool. That was really cool. Um, anyway... Pebble Person has donated £100. Thank you very much. First year watching Jingle Jam. It's been a blast. Pebble Person, I'm glad you enjoyed it. Holy crap. Thank you very much. Um, Lily says, thanks for all the hard work you've done this year. It's been a good end to a hard year. Much love. We haven't finished yet. We've got a couple of days. Plus, we're going to do a couple more streams. But it's almost done. We're almost done. There's so many good streams um, that you may have missed as well, which are, which are good to catch up on. I think that's another thing I wanted to sort of consider as well. Like, you know, I think because we do so many streams, it's such a tight thing. I think a lot of people have a lot to catch up on. Um, anyway. Yeah, uh, there is a lot, yeah. We've, we've done we've done well this morning. Done like 11,000, 12,000 pounds or something this morning, somehow. Yeah. Um, thank you, Spiff. Lily, thank you very much. Eisenhart, thank you very much as well. To everyone at Yoscast, thank you for another great Jingle Jam. Thanks for being so amazing. Uh, Gled, 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 Gled. Gladelig Yol Og God Nya Perfect. What did I just say? Um, I don't know. I don't know what that meant. But I think it meant uh, happy Christmas and good and have a good year. Happy holidays and have a good new year. Uh, Zach B, thank you. Are we getting a New Year's stream this year? I don't know. I don't know. Oh. We haven't planned it yet. So we'll see what happens when everyone gets back from Crimbus. Um, oh, from Crimbus, miss. Yeah, Zach B, thank you. I've been watching your source for years, big fan. Panax, Pax, Pax Anicus? Pax Anicus. Um, thank you, Yorks, for doing this. Having served myself abroad, it's extra nice to see a veteran charity on the list. Wow. Oh. Pax Anicus, thank you. Pax Anicus, thank you for your service, dude. And that's a really nice gesture. Very appreciated. Um, I recognise this name, The Cold. I continue to be amazed at Lewis and how well he runs at York South. Thank you. That's very nice of you, uh, The Cold. Very kind thing to say. Much appreciated. Um, the Yogs, the Yogs cast is is it's, it's a funny thing. It's not what a lot of people think it is. You know, I think yeah. a lot of people think that we are some big bigger company with a the ability it's, it's, to to sort of i don't know have more it's control two or three people trying to make the most 
and it's very difficult because you have to balance a huge amount of things. Like I couldn't even imagine how much work goes into a schedule each week. I think and I think really, you know, when we look at the Yogs cast, it is we've got a couple of editors who help us make videos for the main channel. We've got a couple of artists who do all of our merch and everything, which is really useful, all of these overlays and all the beautiful stuff. But they're they're all busy all the time doing thumbnails and editing, those guys. They are just they don't have any space really to like I mean, they're obviously they're very creative people and they do come up with very useful ideas, but they don't have bandwidth to do the kind of things we've just been talking about, which is which is um, reach out to people or kind of um, organize odd, odd events. You know, we don't have that. The, the event sort of planning department of the Yogs, as well as everything else, is. Well, I mean, um, all the event planning has to go into to events like Jingle Jam, and then like if if there is another YogCon, then YogCon. It's just a case of you and Harry have to do all of that. So if you're not focusing on Jingle Jam, you're focusing on YogCon. Or if you're not focusing on Jingle Jam or YogCon, it's a very important sponsored thing that you have to do, or a charity event, or uh, someone needs something from you. And there's just no end, which is why I love that I don't have to. I do think it. I think people saying we need to hire an engagement leader or someone specialist to do it. We don't take any money from Jingle Jam. We don't make any money from this. This is there's no you know we don't take ten percent off the top to pay for our costs or to pay for the event. You know, um, well obviously Twitch subs, we still get those during December, but that's you know that all goes out to the creators. So there's no there's no money to do this um, at our end. Like, do you know what I mean we can't? It's all done voluntarily. There's no we don't have like the the Yogs cast itself doesn't make like a profit really well it made a little bit of a profit this year but we're talking you know fifty thousand pounds kind of thing it's not it's not a lot to, to kind of have that we don't oh, have right like, home about that let's everyone clap please guys Whoa. we don't have a huge like amount of money to spend on um new staff or new things like this. you know the Oscars isn't necessarily what it's making you know it's not it's not it's not making like. Do you, do you know what I mean we're not we're not in a place where we're you know taking home huge profits to, to spend on that kind of expansion anymore? You know it's been like yeah, ten it's, years. It's more that it gets it gets spent on like, actually buying staff and training staff up. Staff is our then... biggest cost, um, and it's 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 the yours isn't going anywhere. We're doing fine, um, but it's like I don't I don't normally like to talk about this because it's like kind of. Um, it gets quite, everyone all worried. It certainly means it? that like hiring a new person is is a is going to eat into that, right? And so we have to make a decision on what we're going to do yeah. with it. We're not sort of we're not going into debt. Maybe we should do spiff. Maybe we should have taken out ten million. Well, I mean, there are loan. there are advantages with going into debt, but the issue is if you go into debt and you just and you end up just funneling your own savings, Lewis, into this company. Just we're not like a driving it no, but we're not so like a modern company. We should just go to a bank and get like a whole million dollars loan, and just yeah. get one of these fancy offices and then just like go bankrupt in five years and default on all of our loans. I mean, Do you know I mean that that's would that's be, how all would companies be great. work. Right? Go out in a blaze of chaos. We should just like go absolutely mad. But no, we're the thing is we're stupidly, stupidly old school and sensible I mean, with for, it. For the first time ever, my company is going. My company is going from. Uh, zero employees to two employees in the new year. I know, Spiff. wild, absolutely insane. Yeah. See, this is I'm this actually is, this, expanding we need my to invest company. In Spiffco. Um, oh, it, it's where where all the money's at. Got 13 million in the bank right now. Look at that. Oh, isn't that brilliant? I, I, it Losing is, apparently 250,000 a month though. That is terrifying. To like to like kind of think about this from a per point of view of how people see us. You know, people see us as this as this odd thing but it's not it's kind of just the kind of i don't know it, it works but it's not it's not it's not because we're, it's like a lot of small people joined together but all the small people are breaking even do you know what i mean so it's like yeah it's a, a lot of people breaking even overall you know a lot of people being able to live and live comfortably in order in order to like in order to thrive and grow, you need a huge amount of luck. And especially now on YouTube, you need a huge amount of luck and effort. And 
in order to nail like, I don't know, SEO and all of that and titling and like actually having someone who plans videos and sits down and almost not necessarily scripts them, but like can check all the Google trends and be like, okay, if we were to create this video and market it in this way, then that way we will get it shown to the most people. But in order to hire someone like that, like the going salary for people like that can literally be 150,000. And you have huge channels on YouTube like Mr. Beast and the SNL channels, uh, like Saturday Night Live, that literally have teams of four to five SEO people whose job it is just to browse Google Trends all day and night. I do it in my spare time and it is horrible and you would have to pay someone huge amounts of money to do it for a network like this. <laughs> it's it's you upload so much. Yeah, I mean, we, we don't have a community manager. Um, we don't have, uh, we don't even have like anyone who's sort of, uh, we don't have a CEO. <laughs> you know, we, we have, we have Barry who's mostly doing art and that's it. We don't yeah, have- we Barry don't, does mostly and art me. and then also has to manage everyone. Um. So, so it's, 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 it's kind of, um, it's fine, but you know, I think it's, it's tough to, tough to, tough to think about these things from a sort of, um, kind of, you should get one of these guys perspective. It's like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, I suppose you can t hire people to do s singular projects and that's what we looked at doing last year, actually. And um, we, we might do again. Um, just take someone on for the for the jingle jam period, but um, you know consider where that 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 because I never want to make any money from jingle jam. It's, it has to be a voluntary thing for us. I always get scared about taking people on for a short period because I'm like, especially if it's like a full time job kind of. Because I'm like, well then you're not going to have a job at the end of this. So that's what makes me always scared about part-time hiring someone i think if, if you i think it's okay if you let them know at the first at the start you know if you don't yeah. tell them then that's no good but if you yeah, if just they, tell them yeah no go just need in, you to manage this event called the jingle jam runs fine. through december you might have a job at the end of it don't worry winky face am i in bankruptcy no i'm just i'm just slowly losing money in my company because i've not set it up properly so we're mostly watching spiff playing <laughs> um which i'm actually totally totally cool with he's actually doing good stuff um yeah, so so it's interesting, and also like I'm very lazy nowadays. I I want to I want to watch a lot of movies and and write stuff and spend my spend time on myself kind of thing. I'm not I'm not as driven as I once was. So in a sense, it's like, difficult to be driven. You know, that's like, that's there's tough too. So right? much going on. We it do takes, multiple recordings it takes every a lot week, more effort. multiple streams. This year we've I, you know I've 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 done huge amounts of time in editing and recording and um yeah streaming. i think you need you need to slow down on the streaming side of things lewis like jesus christ you you just don't stop like how oh in game <laughs> sorry not your discuss bankruptcy no sorry in game i'm massively i'm falling in -game apart bankruptcy but oh, no God. i'm i'm fine um i've done i've done loads of really interesting stuff this year and i've 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 I still love doing it, so I wouldn't. What was what was your favourite thing that you've done this year? Not Jingle Jam, of course. Uh, um, like you did for yourself, like maybe you played a game or read a book that you really enjoyed this year. I don't know. It's been it's been a really tough year for everyone being trapped inside. I think. Yeah. Um, I think that's been really harder for me than I thought it would be. I think because um, I I didn't. I'm not someone who goes on holiday a lot or goes around or travels around a lot either. Like, you know, probably like the year before this year, I went away like three, two or three times. That's all I went to. I think I went to GDC and that was the thing where we tried to, you know, get people to join the Jingle Jam. And then we did Gamescom, which was very similar. And I always end up having to do Gamescom because I feel like someone invites me to Gamescom and it's like a brand deal or something. And I have to play their game on... I get to go to Germany and drink beer for a week with everyone. That's always a good one. That is always fun, yeah. And then I, I guess the year before this year, we did YogCon as well, which was kind of a big event. But this year, I haven't been away at all. And it's it's quite, it's got to me a bit, you know. Um, so maybe next year I'll go on holiday a couple of times. Go to some of the places I want to want to pop pop over to oh, i want to i want to see so much in the world now now that i've got my channel set up and in the next year i'm hoping well i was hoping to give myself free time and now i've decided i want to do csgo casting for fun 
Um, so I used to have free time. <laughs> uh, now you've got a hobby. I, now I've got a hobby. And that means <laughs> oh, no free God. time. That means no free time. I was going to go travel the world, was going to go see Japan, but no, no, it's all gone now. It's all gone. Yeah, I'd like to go back to Japan at some point. Japan was a very interesting place. Um, it's a very unique culture, which I'm excited by. Yeah, I did the very touristy trip round, and I, I sort of same one that Mark Humes and Nina went on, and um, they had a great time, um, and I had a great time. It was great. Yeah, it was really, really good. And I think Ped went as well, didn't he? Ped went with with Leo and um, the fam. I think they had a. They, they, it was a. It was. It's a really weird place and really worth visiting. It's the most strange place I've ever been. And I went to New Zealand as well. Drove around New Zealand, didn't I? That was that oh, was a real I, trip. Okay, New Zealand is one place that I'd love to go to. Like, I don't want to go to Australia Hob- because Hobbits. I, I would die. But New Zealand is lovely. Yeah, I mean, it was um, it was it was a absolutely beautiful place. It was like England, but hadn't been built yet. And that's what I thought about New Zealand. It was like oh. kind of like imagine it was it was like, <laughs> you know, England's had people living there for since the Celts, you know, and, and the Romans. And so every kind of bit of land has been... We've got a lot of shit holes built like on Slough at some on the point. map. Yeah, whereas instead of Slough, you've got a fucking amazing looking mountain covered in rainforest. And it's like, oh, wow. <laughs> you know, that's how New Zealand felt a bit. Um, but yeah, that, I think maybe next year will be a time for a bit of change. Maybe Maybe the ability to change things up. But then again, maybe we'll still just be locked down forever until we all get... Jabs. Oh God! Don't say that. Oh no! I think you're gonna have to like have uh, if you if you have a jab, I reckon you'll be given like a little certificate, and you'll be like, I reckon it's gonna get to a point where you can't fly somewhere unless you can show your jab certificate type thing. I mean, is it possible to just pay your way to get a jab so that you can then just go on holiday? Because <laughs> there, there will I, there will just be a breaking point for so many people where it's just like, right, I don't care, two hundred quid. Give me a jab. I want to go to. I want to go to Mallorca. Pog Poodmund <laughs> just said in chat. I got my jab yesterday. I got you given a small card. Oh. Is that true? Nice. There you go. Can I buy that card off you for fifty p? Um. <laughs> and then I'm immune. Oh my god! No. <laughs> Come on. Oh, the black Come market on, on the. Think there. of the business. You can't start exploiting that already, Spiff. You. I was so innocent for a we... second. We just need a laminator, and then we've got it. We can start selling them online. Stop. Please stop. Do not. Brand new Spiffing Brute merch coming to, no. uh, to the fourth floor you, website. Why does your brain go there? <laughs> so It's money, evil. though. It's, it's money. So evil. Oh, my gosh. Well, um, McFeagle just donated 250 pounds to the, to the National Video Game Museum. Holy crap. That's, look at our total. We're doing great. Um, we're doing great. If we don't hit two million pounds before the end of Jingle Jam, I am totally cool with that, actually. I think that'll be fine. But it'll be cool if we do. Um, just saying, chat. If you haven't bought the bundle yet, you've only got another, 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 another probably close to, close to like 30 or so hours. I don't know what time tomorrow it ends, actually. They might just turn it off randomly. Um, is that oil out there, Spiff? Just floating yeah, in the this sea? Yeah, is, this is offshore oil. Yeah, you can... Build an offshore oil platform. Do you want to know what it looks like? I can. I can probably. Oh, I am in this region. Okay, right. I'll show you what it looks like. Uh, offshore oil drill. Got to place it on the shore, and then you can build these little guys, and then boats come in and out collecting the oil. Isn't it lovely and cute? It is adorable. This is in the Jingle Jam. If you're just if you're just tuning in, we're about to end the stream, and uh, Ped and Liam and Ravs get to take over and play for the King, which is also in the Jingle Jam bundle. We've been so lucky this year that the games in the bundle are just games that we love and we've been playing anyway we love them it's a great, it's the best bundle we've ever done i don't ever expect us to get a bundle this good ever again and so no. please tell your friends get get it well so you can please tell everyone honestly. you know they've got a day left to buy the bundle um it's it's just so so such good value uh you it might still take you like 24 hours to get your bundle but they are m- much more um much quicker than they were at the start of the Jingle Jam. And that was my fault at the start of the Jingle Jam because some of the keys were missing. Um, but it's much better now. So, yes. Thank you so much. Thank you, Joachim. Thank you, Boris the Lad. You awesome dude. Thank you, Gus in Australia. Thank you, Tom B. Or Tom Tumble. Thank you, Tumble. 
Thank you, Rob Apollyon, Mr. Easter, Little E from Australia. Thank you, Lelantos. All the Aussies have probably gone to bed now, so I'm reading their donios and it's probably like 2 a.m. Rob Apollyon, bravo, Foxtrot27, finally in a great place I can donate. Thank you very much, bravo, Foxtrot. Thank you, Umbacano. Uh, thank you to a uh, no-name provided from the Estonian Defence Force. I guess you're doing your military wow. service there, dude. Good luck with that. Oh, the EDF. The EDF. Oh, my God. <laughs> have you ever played EDF? Uh, yes, I have. It's terrible. God, what There's a like game. No, it's not terrible. It's, it's amazing. Awful. I played the seventh one recently. It was great. Or maybe it was in the sixth. Oh, no, it's it almost amazing. midnight in Brisbane. Okay, so it's almost mid midnight in, in Oz. Or in some parts of Oz. You've got like three time zones, so greedy. Greedy. Um, <laughs> old Samich. We don't need none of them, but just send it. It's all right. Old Buttons, any pocket fluff, anything left in your paper, we'll take it. Old Man... Thank you. If you have any crypto dust, I think is the terminology for like a really small quantity of crypto. crypto send us your dust. dust. I like that. That sounds like some mysterious cyberpunk um, art architect, doesn't it? Crypto dust. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'd, I'd, I'd snort that. Uh, Sam, thank you. Get some nanobots up in your brain. Thank you very much, Sam. Thank you, Moonin. I hope, I hope um, Hugin is, is doing all right as well. Uh, the Conductor09, he says, thank you for doing what you do. Greetings from minus 21 degree Canada. My teapot will be working overtime today. Um, excellent. Thank you very much. And thank you to Vivid, who says, welcome back to the Jingle Twitter. Blah, oh, memes, no, no, anime. I don't know what's happening. Uh, we're going to have a break. My company has gone bankrupt. Um, oh, no. But that was, I was running... I was running Sipsco Industries. Well, you can just press give up and it kicks you to the main <laughs> menu. I'll try oh again. I'll try again next time. Uh, we're going to have a five-minute break and then Pedras Leo. Give me your love. Please send in donations. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Spiff. Thank you for joining me. And I'll Thank see you, very you. Much I'll see you later today, possibly, or tomorrow. I might pop in. I don't know. If you, if you pop in by tomorrow, maybe. I'll, I'll, pop, I'll pop by tomorrow for the, for the fighting fantasy. We're going to do Rian Rihanna Pratchett's book. Um, oh, that sounds fun. Which does sound fun. It's pretty cool. All right. Well, if you hop on the Discord late at night, you might be in the last night of the stream as well, or the last stream of the year. Oh, for, there you go. for professional. For the late night, late night protest on, on the Discord. All right. Bye. See you.